Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very, 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 very special episode of Let Me Just Say Podcast. I am your special host, Q to Reach God. And today we have the original host, Ray. What's good? Just finishing up this 2K match, and then we're going to get to the podcast. Okay. We got Dion. Well, that's happening. And then we got D Wolf. Greetings. Oh, and we got the legendary father coming in right now. Oh, he sounds terrible. How are you guys doing today? You know, we're two days away from Christmas. Horrible. We'll get to that later. Who pissed you off? No, we're going to get to that right now. Who pissed you off? Just continue the show. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, we'll we'll get to that later. I got a um, secret. Center. I got a secret center. I don't know how to. <laughs> 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 I don't know what to get. Well, today is a special episode that I personally wanted to do myself. Um, it's sort of an end of the year episode, but it's not technically the end of the year yet because we still got next week, but. You know, I just felt like this was an episode that I needed to put my fingerprints on. And, you know, before we get into anything, uh, I wanted to uh, give a special get well to all my family who are um, under, you know, what do you call a quarantine because of COVID. Um, A lot of people have caught COVID in the last couple of weeks, and I wish everybody well. Hope everybody gets better. Uh, Happy birthday to our uh, podcast member, Crystal. She won't be here today. Shout out to her. I know she's having fun. And yeah, let's get into what we got to talk about today. So first thing I want to bring up, I want to just get this out the way. So a number of people have mentioned that they feel like they can go bar, I mean, go song for song with Jay-Z and a versus. And they Mm. have been random posts from random people naming random people saying that they can go bar for bar, I mean, go song for song in a versus with Jay-Z. Um, I'll, I'll name a couple people that I heard. I heard a Busta Rhymes. Um, I heard an LL Cool J. I heard a Kanye once. And Future, for some reason, put his name in this category, but we're not going to talk about him. Um, I heard I, I heard, a, <laughs> I heard an NBA young boy. I heard a Lil Wayne. I heard a couple names. Who the fuck said NBA young boy? What? You'll be surprised at how many people say anybody NBA that's under the age of four. Like so. With that being said, I want to hear your opinion. He's not even good. The fuck? I, I Sorry. Just wanna, I want to. It's cool. I understand. I, I just want to <laughs> personally hear your opinions on if you feel like anybody can be uh, a good, you know, competitor with Jay Z in a versus and. If you do feel like it's somebody, and if, and if you do, who would it be? And I'm going to start with Dion. Let's go. Okay. Speaking purely off of the names you mentioned, the only ones that even remotely make sense are LL and Buster Rhymes. Those are the only two names that even make even a remote semblance of sense. I don't know. I might got a dispute with you when it comes to Lil Wayne and uh, Kanye West, but we can talk about that another day. Kanye, eh, I don't, I don't know. If Kanye got the got the uh, too much of his arsenal is thanks to Jay Z. When it comes to Kanye, you can't even put Kanye in in that conversation. That's a hard disagree. That's, That's I, 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 I'm about to say I ha- I personally have dis- to disagree. What? Because even if all right, let's put it this way. Don't 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 attack him. That's father. that new I'm, I'm gonna go. I don't attack him yet. Don't attack him yet. Don't attack him yet. I got it. That's I got not even trying to bite. Yeah. I got I got it real quick. Let me holler at him real quick. I got it. Put it this way. We can even take out. All right. For instance, we could take out all songs that Kanye West has produced for Jay Z. Let's do that. So it could be an even playing field. We won't do Watch the Throne. We won't do Diamonds Are Forever remix. We won't do anything that has Jay Z or Kanye West. We'll we'll just do specifically songs with Jay Z. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Just So that basically know. means you're taking out pretty much a lot of the blueprint. You're taking a lot of uh, the Black album out. You're taking a lot of uh, the, a lot of the blueprints that he did make out. And now you have to stand toe-to-toe to Kanye West, which is like, I, I, I hate to say it, Jay-Z might walk out with a bunch of bruises, scars, and kicks and punches from the ass whooping that he might have to take in to, to his victory. Because I'm not going to say Kanye West is going to beat him, but what I'm going to say is, it's not it, going it'll to be close. It'll be, it'll, it'll be it'll be close. Like, it's a lot closer than what people think. It's a lot closer than what you think, personally. I love anybody tell you I love Jay Z. Love Jay Z to the bottom of my heart. He's the greatest rapper to ever live. But if there is one artist, if there is one, if there is one artist in this world who can go song for song with Jay Z, it's Kanye West. Undoubtedly, it does. I have no doubt about it in my mind that Kanye West can go song for song with Jay-Z. It's, it's, it's not even, it's, it's really about what are you putting, what are you putting what against? Because that's really going, it's going to be a preference battle. I'll, I'll give you Lil Wayne too. I'll, I'll agree with you on Lil Wayne. It, and you know, like you said, that that boils down to preference. That boils down to, I guess, whatever tracks Lil Wayne decides to decides to play. I just, I personally think, it, for you, but him, him, him and Buster would be a good one. Him and Jay Z and Buster Rhymes would would be a, a fucking fantastic one. It would, but. Buster Rhymes is not beating Jay Z. Shoot, I'm, uh, hell, him and LL would be good, especially like if you know the history between LL Cool J and Jay Z. That's a uh, yeah. Well, I think Jay Z is still washing. Jay Z is washing everybody. He has I'm too not, much. He has I'm too not, much great music. Right, I'm not declaring a a victor between them. I'm just saying who would be like. You know uh, the the better the better show the better matchup whatever whatever you know. I'm gonna tell you like this: Jay Z's argument in in rap is the same argument crazy people make about LeBron James being the greatest basketball player of all time. They they were at their peak for longer than everybody. But when you really think about it. You have people like Jay Z at his peak is better than everybody. Is beyond better than everybody. Jay Z at his greatest is unstoppable. So when you have when you have a Michael Jordan uh, peak, when you're considered the greatest of all time, and you have LeBron James longevity, it's it's almost impossible to beat him. Everybody that you, everybody that somebody has named to go against Jay Z in the verses has had a slump some way, somehow in their career. But somewhere, still, somewhere um, in their career, they ha- they've had something that didn't do what it was supposed to do, as far as you know, streams, sales, anything. We're not even talking about numbers; just the quality of music. Every everybody that you name has had. Uh, some somewhat a downfall from what their peak was. We have yet to see a downfall of Jay Z. Name me a da- name me a bad Jay Z song. Exactly. <laughs> There's your point. There's your point right there. You can't oh, name a bad. Oh shit. Exactly. Um, Think about it. Uh, that was like a very terrible. Thing. But I literally have to go back and like literally years, years ago, fifteen, almost twenty years ago. You have to find a bad Jay Z song, and it's probably not that bad. It just ain't. It just doesn't. Just doesn't not as good as other shit. Uh, exactly. So it, it's, <laughs> it's good for it's good for somebody else. It's bad for Jay Z. That's that's the difference. A bad Jay Z song is is a hit for anybody else, and that that says a lot. 
it's 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 the it's basically like there, there is no I, I will not allow anybody to argue with me about anything that has to do with Jay Z if they don't have factuals to even go with what they're saying. Because anybody you can make a million and one songs and they all be average. And be a young boy. I still stick to my my statement earlier. I don't think he's that good. NBA he's, he's, is, he's, he's good over for the youth. He's good for the youth. Can you imagine what people said about? See, this is why I can't. I cannot put that. I can't put the NBA young boy is not good label on him yet. I can't do it. Do that either. I can't do it. Why? Because years ago, once upon a time, the same people we had the same conversation about Lil Wayne. Everybody thought he was overrated. Okay, he's good. I was one of those great? people. You, you thought that maybe he's having just a streak and, and it'll go away eventually. Oh, he's just saying a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense. Everybody thought, oh, what, what is this sound? Now he uses auto tone. Lil Wayne is terrible. Then he went to rock music and everybody thought he was going crazy. But then he comes back from rock music and still is one of the best rappers alive, period, point blank. It's not even a question. So with that being said, it, it, I mean, a young boy is not even 25 yet. We got a long way to go before we see or be able to really give an opinion on NBA young boy and if he's good or not. I just feel like NBA young boy gives me Lil Wayne vibes, not as good of a rapper, but the influence and the, the grasp he has on the youth and people close to his age or younger, it's, 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 it's similar to what Lil Wayne did. The only difference is Lil Wayne's quality of music was a little bit better, but it was a different era. So I can't say NBA Youngboy is trash yet. I, I, it's a couple of songs that I actually enjoy, but there's a couple of songs that sound the same. So have, you, have you sat down and actually listened to NBA Youngboy, Dion, or are you just saying that because you old? Because he old. I, I, no, I actually I listened to some of shit. It was just like, he doesn't he doesn't strike me like that. Okay. I mean that's fine because he don't strike me either. I agree with you there. Like I've listened to a few NBA Young Boys songs because like my sisters love him. So you know I'm always listening to his music like here and there. And yeah, he's not my choice. He's not, he's not my he's not my cup of tea, but you know, he, he cool. I enjoy some of his songs, but I can't listen to a whole album of him. And Actually, you know what I'm, and uh, you know what I'm putting Lil Wayne in that same uh, department for me. I've never been a Wayne fan. It's I respect it, Father. You, you, I respect I anybody a, who's honest. I have a love hate relationship when it comes to Lil Wayne. I have a love hate relationship with his music. I say that because I feel like he either gives you absolute fucking gold just straight fire or it's a disappointment it there's never there's no average with him with him is always extremes either this shit is fire or it's it's ass one of the two but the best way that you can really analyze how good an artist is even if you say he has he, he hits or miss little wayne has a lot more hits than he has misses a lot more but, hits, but the but the misses are bad. But the hits are great. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is really bad. Like, I mean, Lil Wayne is Kobe. Kobe has missed a lot of shots that you're looking like, what the fuck were you shooting? But when he makes those shots, you're like, what the fuck? I, I can't believe he did that. That's Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne made a song called Lollipop. If you really think about it. If anybody else would have did it, it would have it would have flopped. Personally, I feel like if anybody else would have made that song, it would have flopped. Lil Wayne made it to to a, a, a number one hit. Like he's he has the he has the air. NBA Young Boy is just being blackballed. He just has he just needs the opportunity that a lot of these other young upcoming rappers who are in the game and like knee deep in the game, he need the same opportunities they do. Give them the same opportunities Lil Baby got, uh, Polo G got, Roddy Rich got, and then we'll be able to say, all right, he's not that good. Because now he's in the same playing field. He, he's, he's dealing with same producers. He's getting the same 
you know, uh, uh, features. He's, 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 people are on his album, you know, and now we can fully analyze if he's great or not. Maybe the reason why his music doesn't change is because he deals with the same people all the time. I don't know, because Justin Timberlake has worked with the same people all the time, and it's worked for him. But Justin Timberlake worked with Timberland. That's, I don't want to hear that shit. And plus, you're talking um, about the genre of music. It's Timberland and Pharrell. And, like, what? how else can you go bad? What can you go bad about it? You I'm, just, it I'm not saying. But I'm just saying. Come, you can't I feel like that's a bad comparison, just for the simple fact that that's two different genres of music. No, it's not even that. It's, it's R&B. It's not even that. It's just the fact that the quality of who Justin Timberlake has had. He had Timberland and Pharrell. So did Jay Z. Jay the, the Jay Z is he got the, more, but most of it I can and I will say this because I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my turn, and I'm not gonna like push my turn in. But no, nah, go ahead. A go lot ahead, of his ahead. hits came from Timberland, Pharrell, and Pharrell. I know Kanye has a uh a, a, a part in it too, but I guarantee you. Even if you take Kanye's part out, you can still get a good 20 just from Timberland or Pharrell or Just Blaze alone that were hits. Monster oh, yeah, hits. Uh, Jay, Jay-Z, and let me tell you something. There is no, there is no cheating. I've played all GTAs in my life. There is no cheat code that GTA can ever put in their game that is more powerful than Jay-Z on a Timberland beat. I don't care. I said Pharrell, but I agree with you. Jay Z on a Timberland beat. I'll you give get, you. You get Tom I'll Ford. Give you that. Tom Ford. Listen to the beat. Don't even listen to him rap. Just listen to the beat of Tom Ford, and just listen to the genius that Timberland has produced on that shit. That shit is amazing. That, that that's a beat that can never be replicated ever again. Like you have you have to have an ear, and Jay Z just take anybody else on that damn beat probably wouldn't do half as much as like Jay Z has his aura. He doesn't write. He doesn't, he just says what he wants and just walks out. He's a goat. There's no versus. Jay Z would have to battle him versus Sean Carter. I feel the same. I feel the same. I, I feel the same way about Kanye West. It would have to be Kanye versus Ye. It can't be. Kanye versus West versus anybody. It has to be Kanye versus Kanye Ye. versus the old Kanye. <laughs> the old Kanye. Like it, it has to be. It gotta be. Like it, there are there are artists who don't who have too much music and they their fucking their bag is so open and is so fucking expanded that you who are you gonna put against Kanye West with some of the songs that he has? You can't. Because his, his his sound is so much different. You would need three or four people inside of that place to even go up against him. Same way as Jay-Z. You have to get three different eras to go up against Jay-Z because he lasted about four. More than more than four. Like he you, gotta, he, you gotta remember Jay's been Jay's been around since the fucking mid nineties, though. That's what I'm saying. He, he the 80s. early nineties. I'm about to say the early nineties. Eighties. He lasted. Eighties. He, he, well, he, I'm 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 speaking as like him as as long as he's been mainstream. That has I, how long he's actually been like rapping. Yeah, eighty something. But Jay Z lasted in the the flat top and big chain era. He lasted in the nineties gangster gutter era. He lasted in the two thousand the early two thousands big shorts and flashy uh, jeans era. That, that was, was his prime. If you ask that was his, that was his person. Yeah, yep, it was. Jersey, when we had throwback jerseys and shit, that was Jay Z at his best. And then you have the auto tune era, where Jay Z was was going at everybody. That's probably like Blueprint Three, maybe. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. That was Blueprint yeah, Three. You know what I'm saying? And then now you have this era that he's that he's still in, and he 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 produ- he came out with 444 in this era, Magna Carter in this era. You know. He's, he's he's beyond a goat. He has he also can I also say that the story of OJ is one of the greatest rap songs written in this era. I I'm, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. Okay. That was the, that was the hardest shit I ever heard in my life. <laughs> like it was just like it was so different. But at the end of the day, my personal opinion, I don't think anybody can go with Jay Z in a versus. Ray, I know you've been itching and waiting. 
the floor is yours, my guy. <laughs> okay, I said this on Facebook and I'll say it now. Lil Wayne ain't fucking with Jay Z's B sides. All right, I think Jay Z's B side will watch Lil Wayne's. Book. That's fine. All right, get, um, I want mm-hmm. I want people to understand that this man, like everyone said, he has thirty years, at least thirty years of music. That is something that not a lot of people could say. Besides what Michael Jackson and maybe Ronald Isley, and like anybody else that's like dead. Um, that man has literally changed the game at least three times Fact. over when like. And like anytime he done said like we are done with that, things are done with that. The only thing that survived was probably uh auto tune. Money phone, people still, you know, I know there's probably people still doing money phones, but you don't see a lot of people still putting holding money to the head, don't you? All right, now people are getting into investments and all that other shit. Who the fuck you think you did that? Jay-Z. Now I know there's been like things like academics can say like Oh, uh, Wayne is somebody's Jay Z, or Young Boy is someone's Jay Z, or Future is someone's Jay Z. I said, in which you do have a, but be mindful. Like during those times where, like, let's say Future was the hottest, or Wayne was the hottest, Jay Z was still the number one rapper around your time. Matter of fact, it's like you want to, if people want to put Future in there, it's like the only thing you could probably give them is maybe March Madness, fuck up some commas, and mask off. Which is probably three of Future's best songs. Anything else is getting dog walk by fucking Jay Z. So I so anybody who's saying Future, please get the fuck out of here. Young boy, that man's not even twenty five yet. I know he got eleven kids, but he ain't got eleven hits to fuck with Jay Z. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here with that. And I'm not talking that. And trust me, I'm not talking as an old head. I am talking about someone that reviews music, but. Get the fuck out of here with the young boy shit. I understand that's young people doing young people shit to fuck with old heads. I understand that shit, but please be realistic. Uh, like I said, I'm not. It's like I'm not. I would like to see Jay Z versus Busta Rhymes because, as much as people think Jay Z will dog walk Busta, I don't. Because Busta Rhymes did have hits. There's parts when Busta Rhymes was like the last nigga on it because he was the nicest. Busta Rhymes, he has about a good. 30 years of music that he has. That, and that's not even cooling features. He has been on number one a couple times himself. Hell, the Big Bang is still like one of my favorite albums from him. Uh, e, uh, ELE is still one of my favorite albums. He's still got a bunch of songs from a lot of stuff. That's why Busta Rhymes is someone like uh, Busta Rhymes is hard to look for in the verses. Because he got a bunch of songs that, you know, he can play and people are like, yo, ain't nobody fucking with that. It's like, you got to put, you kind of like got to put Big Pippin with, put your hands with my ass can see. Or you could put um, past the Cavassier remix with whatever uh, Jay-Z songs and all that other stuff. It's just like, they have hits. LL Cool J is another one, but I do afraid that a lot of people's going to forget LL Cool J shit, which is, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing. It's like, people going to say, oh, what the fuck he's going to have behind, besides heads from? Knowing that LL Cool J got a slew of hits and he was the original GOAT. And he is the reason why a lot of people say the word GOAT now because he damn near invented the coin phrase term. He has an album called GOAT. No one else was saying he was right. the fucking GOAT before him. So uh, it was like, so when Jay Z said that, and I know he meant that with all the uh, good in it, well, all the goodness. The only person. That hell, when he was on tour, the only person that was really fucking with him on tour was DMX. And that was during the Def Jam tour or the Rockefeller tour. With, uh, and the only person that would fucking with him was DMX. That's why I like Jay Z and DMX was good. Jay Z and Snoop Dogg been great. So Snoop Dogg versus DMX was great. Imagine like that. Now, Nas, Nas, I can see people uh, going with Nas, but at the same time, Nas has a thing about picking bad beats. He is a horrible beat picker. So, um, even though he got fucking great songs, and I'm like one mic, and uh, he just put out King's Disease too. That was good, and he has a bunch of other stuff. It's like, mm, I don't know Eminem. I can see Eminem. People saying Eminem, and I can see I was, that, but I was also I can see. Him. 
I, I can see Eminem, but I also see people like going against Eminem be just just solely on the fact that he's white. Because Eminem never gets the credit in hip hop that he deserves of being one of the best rappers out there. Now, is he in my top five? No, definitely in my top ten. And I think he has the hits to go with fucking uh, Jay Z, but I don't think people will give him like won't give him shit because uh, I seen like especially like Charlemagne the God. He he hates on Eminem every fucking he gets, and that man has put out like to me he's put out his last two albums has been good. So I don't know uh, Kanye, yeah, and I've said this too. Um, Kanye is Kanye with Jay Z. He has put up with a lot of hits, but I can take out Kanye shit and still come up with twenty big bangers without Kanye. And like, and Kanye during the mid two thousands was everywhere. If it wasn't Jay Z, it was Ludacris, it was Keisha Cole, it was Alicia Keys, it was any other rap, any other rappers during that time that was using the Kanye West beat, Talib Kweli, you know. But and and I do think Kanye has some hits to bang with Jay Z. On his own because he he's up there, but I still think I still will edge it to Jay Z because like I said and like Q said, the shit he done with Timberland is phenomenal. It's like I think, in my opinion, and I love Kanye too. I think some of Jay Z's hits doesn't really consider Kanye. Um, the public service announcement that's just Blaze. Uh, fucking Tom Ford, Timberland, Allure. With Pharrell, still one of my favorite Jay Z songs of all time. Uh, Big Pippin. What the fuck you gonna play against Big Pippin? That's Timberland. That's Timberland. To me, that's that's Timberland at his finest. I know you said Tom Ford, but Big Pippin. No, nah, right what I think, I think Jigga what Jigga who is is, and, uh, is thank Timberland you, Jiggle, is Timberland at his finest. That Jigga is, what that Jigga is, who? That, what are you gonna do when you play Jigga what Jigga who? Is, Niggas gonna be like is, Jigga what? Jigga who? That beat is crazy. That beat is that, fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that beat is stupid. Like, oh my god, it makes you wonder what the fuck was he thinking when he put that together. I know some people say Drake. Yes, Drake got hits, but Jay Z got hits. <laughs> that's a that's what, all I'm gonna what, say with that. Drake like, got what hits, song? But, what song is going to go against the Empire State of Mind? <laughs> and that's not even his best song. That, it's, it's not no. even his best song. It's just the fact that it's such a fucking hit. It is such a fucking what song, what song are you playing against dead presidents? What song are you playing against feeling it? Mm. Nigga, fucking what reasonable song, doubt by itself might wash a couple niggas' albums. What song <laughs> are you playing with you don't know? What song are you playing with song cry? What song Ooh. like what song are you playing with? And most kid? of that is Just Blaze, which, by the way, Kanye, Just Blaze is not a copycat. And I, <laughs> that shit was always kind of like, that's the one, as much as I love Kanye, that shit kind of irked me. Uh, he copied his style. He was like, nah, this, I could tell a Just Blaze from a Kanye beat. <laughs> I can't, too. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Oh, it's, shit. It's, it's, it's not that hard. The audacity. <laughs> Just the audacity. It's not that it's not that hard to figure it out. So, um, D Wolf, do you have anything to say about this uh, subject? Well, I will say, um, because I was thinking about Nas too in the beginning, but I was like, he's he's a bit deep. So I was saying maybe um, Buster Rhymes because he he has more of an entertainment factor. When it comes to it, so you will enjoy. Your, it'll be more like it'll be torn because of uh, Busta Rhymes' entertainment factor when it comes to his songs. So I don't again, like everyone here says. Like I don't think you'll defeat him, but <laughs> I think that will be the best verses to to start with between those two because it will be entertaining for both and it will be like close to it will be close. But you know, Jay Z is gonna win, but. It will be close with, with, with Busta because of the entertainment like, factor, because of the way he delivers. Like, I feel like out of everyone we talked about, like, the only three that would, it would at least be somewhat close, you know, Busta, LL, or Eminem. 
they're the only ones I can think of, like just on the spot on the top of my head, who actually like not not just I'm I'm thinking about everything. The entertainment factor, just you know, going bar for bar with one another. Let, you know, who has the who has like the time and the experience to, you know. Man, look, let's be real. The verses can only be as close as Jay Z allows it. Cause if Jay Z just wants to wipe the floor <laughs> with you in 15 minutes, he can play his first three albums and walk out and there wouldn't be a competition. Now, if he actually wants to pick and choose and actually dissect certain songs to make it interesting, then it would probably be a 30 minute to 45 minute competition only because he allowed it. But if he really just wanted to be like, all right, look, I'm going to go ahead and just play these first three and I'm going to just let y'all figure it out. It wouldn't be a competition. There is no competition. At, once he plays Hard Knock Life, it's like over. Your comp- your, your, your fight just, is just done. Walk yeah, just your, walk away. Just walk away. Your fight is done. After Hard Knock Life, your fight is done. Go ahead, throw in the towel. You fought good. You fought well, but you didn't last. That's it. I just don't understand. People need to humble themselves and understand that Jay-Z is on a different stratosphere. He lasted four yeah. fucking four fucking like four fucking eras. He changed three. He changed three eras and lasted for four. Because his first his first his first ten years in the in the game, he was more of what the what the rap game was being was already had already grew into and became. He was just he fit in. After that 1999, 2000 mark, he completely changed the fucking landscape of what rap was. What rap was. He became the bar. You have certain people who become a bar. This is what I got I'm measuring that, against. That that brings me to um, something that just crossed my mind. Like, what? What? What would you say is Jay Z's best album? Blackout. I I knew he was gonna say that. I got I got to go. Blue, I got to go. Blueprint. Which one? One or two? One. I already knew he was talking about one. Not a lot of people like Blueprint too. Nah, but it was it was still fire. But Blueprint yeah, one was, Blueprint two was good. Number one was better. Yeah, Blueprint one was just a perfect album. It was just it was so perfect. There my was, my there. two favorite, my two favorite Jay Z albums. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give it three. It's a three way tie between Blueprint One, Reasonable Doubt, and uh, Life of Thomas, um, Sean Carter Volume Two. Three way tie between them. That was fire. If I had to do a three way tie, if I had to, if I had no choice to do a three way tie, it would be the Blueprint. It would be the black album, and it would probably be four forty four. If I had to do a three way tie, people, people don't understand how legendary. If I were to do five, was. and now now if I were to up at the five, I would throw in black album and best of both worlds with R. Kelly. I, I didn't like best of both worlds that much. I wasn't the biggest fan of best of both worlds, but hey, to each his own, and um. Uh, now we're going to get to our next topic, which would be this is this is a funny question that I wanted to ask. I feel like this is something that we struggle with in society as human beings, and I feel like I have to be the one to acknowledge this. When is the right time to take your Christmas tree down? Because. The- <laughs> Because for some reason, oh, I, have shit. People, I have people oh, who, shit. who walk into Martin Luther King Day with their Christmas tree still up. I'm sorry. Just I, I wasn't expecting that to be a topic of discussion. That's why I busted out last week. This is, this is Q's episode. Uh, oh, shit. This is my episode today. So my no. topics are my top. This was a topic that I felt like we needed to talk about. If you, all I'm gonna I'm gonna say is I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this one statement, answer that question, and then I'm gonna walk away from this conversation. If your Christmas tree is still up after New Year's Eve, you trifling. 
Okay, I wouldn't use the word trifling, but I do agree. <laughs> I, put it this way: the same, the same, the same rule that applies towards Thanksgiving food should be the same rule that applies to Christmas trees. What There's, you got three days? Nah, like if you all right. So even if you want to take the Christmas tree and multiply it by two, okay. Look, after Christmas, you got two weeks. Personally. <laughs> because I feel like Thanksgiving food after seven days, it should be already gone. Everything should be out your refrigerator. There should be no thanks. There should be no no evidence of Thanksgiving food in your refrigerator after seven <laughs> days. Six days is like you pushing it. Seven days, you dying if you eat that shit. So personally, I feel like if you take that same method and multiply it by two, that should be the amount of days that you spend having your Christmas tree still out. <laughs> For the record, I'm laughing in agreement. <laughs> I just personally think you're an abomination if your Christmas tree is still up in the middle of January. It's a whole new year. Your Christmas tree was, you got your Christmas tree in, in, in 2020. It's 2021. Please take it down. You, you could know. be like the proud family and just never take your, your Christmas decorations down. Stop it. For what? Like, I don't understand it. It's running up your light bill. You're you certainly got to turn the shit on. It's just there. <laughs> like it's, it's running up your light bill. Nobody cares about your your lights anymore. If you weren't oh, going to take them down, you shouldn't have put them up. Stop! <laughs> stop buying live trees if you're not going to do what you're supposed to do with them. Buy the trees that you can just take apart and wrap all your stuff up and put it back in the box <laughs> like normal people. I don't understand why you're still. Walking around a Christmas tree with no oh, presents, no funny. nothing in the middle of January. It does not make sense. And anybody, if I see anybody with a Christmas tree, any type of ornaments, anything, if I see a, if I see one of those yard inflatable things, I'm a pop it. I'm sorry. Call me what you want. <laughs> Christmas is not here anymore. It's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> call, I, I'm gonna keep. Call me what you want. Oh my god. I will I'm not, tearing up laughing at this shit. <laughs> I will not accept past due Christmas trees up. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ray, question. Oh, when do you shit. think people should take For me, it was always... <laughs> you know what's <laughs> funny when I say this? What? You know what's funny? funny when I say this? This might sound a little sexist, but anybody that's... <laughs> Still have their Christmas tree up by the end of January. You can tell they ain't got no man. That's fucked up. Go sit in the fucking corner. <laughs> no, no. Because Not you way. know damn well. No. No, no, you know uh, damn well you put them. No. The women will put them up, but not gonna put them down. If I'm not gonna sit in the corner, I'm not gonna allow you to justify that. No, <laughs> nah, he can't sit in the corner by himself, bro. I gotta follow him with that. <laughs> sit right, in, sit right next to his ass. I'm not gonna allow you to justify. I, I, I got, Look, I this is honestly. It. That's how. I, that's honestly. That's how I know who got a man or not. Oh because God. after you like after some time, the man is taking that shit down. Move. No, hold on, Dion. 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 Oh shoot! What the fuck do you want my right. daughter just talking right. on? I'm I'm telling you. Usually, if they are, I've seen Christmas lights up until March, mm -hmm. and it's like the woman is there by herself because she doesn't. Even though she spent all that time putting it up, she don't really feel like taking it down. It's just hey, like man, it's just like. But, I mean, that's that shit is hard to put up. So to put it down, I know niggas be lazy. Yes, I look. I understand. I come from a big family, and I'm always the one taking it down. Well, <laughs> Man, and, it's, and it's just like this times when I had about, to help people take down the. The hardest part about taking down a Christmas tree is just taking the ornaments off that bitch. If you got, if you got the 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 artificial ones that you just you know stack a piece together and shit, a couple of minutes that bitch is done. I personally just feel like if Christmas is over, throw that shit the fuck away. I'm sorry. Now, women, let me tell you, let me tell you something. They're gonna hold it as for next year. And then some people, it's gonna be up until next year, and then you're not gonna know. <laughs> I I've seen I've seen it go as much as March as most people. And that's when you know they're trying to get a man to get in there just so people won't look at him as crazy. All right. It's but yeah, usually people 
who have their Christmas up past January, they all don't have a man because y'all ain't got no one to take that shit down and you don't really feel taking it down because the lights make you feel like a home when you're lonely in there. You lonely bitch. Um, that's what... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> you really go, so some Kevin that, Samuels bullshit. Go sit nah, in the fucking those, corner. Those that's not no Kevin Samuels bullshit. Those yeah, the not, same not, that's who, not no Kevin Samuels that's bullshit. Not no that's, Kevin Ray, Samuels bullshit. that's Raymond bullshit. <laughs> Like, they no, I'm about to in, say, they, I can't make up my own bullshit, Dion. I gotta go for Kevin. De- I, they that's that's some shit he would say. That's some shit he would say. But that's no, Kevin Samuels said some shit I heard you say. Yeah, I'm saying you say a lot more worse shit than Kevin Samuels. That's a fact, but we're not going to attack you today. <laughs> nah, we all going to attack you. You wrong as shit. <laughs> hey, some of the shit Kevin Samuels saying be true. It's just his delivery be fucked up. And yours isn't? I never said it wasn't. Oh, my God. But then again, but at the same time, I'm not no public speaker who everybody is, you know, looking and watching my shit through social media and whatnot. Therefore, you know what? I can say I'm what keep, the fuck I want. I'm going to keep my comment to myself, and I'm going to let y'all argue amongst yourselves. Q, I know what you're thinking in the back of your head. That's a motherfucking lie. Bro, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I asked you to leave me out of this. Yeah, I'm not though. Like I thought we was cute, but you know what? I'm, okay. I'm reckless in general anyway. Y'all know this, so just yeah. You're literally, you're you're the epitome of a bull in the China show. This is just head on, <laughs> running in the fucking everything. Just but no I mean, hey, if it's in my way, I gotta fucking go. But anyway. I mean, well, who it, says it, you gotta be? Th- no, 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 I'm not doing this. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, this is the episode. This is the episode. <laughs> who said what? Who said it was in your way? I did. The fuck? <laughs> Lord Jesus, please help him. It's Christmas. It's Christmas That's that damn New York man. That's that New York man's and shit. Yo, son, get out my way, B. <laughs> Shout, shout out to all my niggas in Brooklyn. Hey, shout, hey, shout out to the BX, man. <laughs> Harlem. And anyway. Harlem out. Can't leave Harlem out. But in reality, those same women who still got their stuff up for Christmas turn into Miss Pearly who Friday after next. Daddy, <laughs> daddy, I said hi. <laughs> I, like, I, I like the way you got that lined up, but that's not that's beside the point. Point is, oh, shit. there's a time and place to take your shit down. That's how I feel. D Wolf, how do you feel about this? Yeah, for me, it was the same. It was actually once it was New Year's, it was time to take it down. The only time it will go any longer than that is depending on what the gift was and if we figured out where or, you know, where to set it up. So it will stay under the tree until we figure that out. But it never passed January. Man, so, the gift will be there, but the yeah, tree won't insane. fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the gift right where it was at, but that tree is gone. Don't touch that <laughs> box. <laughs> Take that tree up out of here. I like but it's that. for aesthetics, like you know, because you don't want people walking in and just see some shit laying down on the ground or still in the uh, box, you know? So, like, but then again, I, I don't want you know, people walking in my house saying, This is something tree. good to look at. I don't want people to see a Christmas tree on January 23rd. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, that's my girl birthday. Because <laughs> then, then it's like, all right, so what the fuck have you been doing? From nothing. Damn. They haven't been doing a damn That's why it's up there. It should have said. It should have said. If you if you don't like this it, funny. do do what Martin did and put a Velcro tree on the back of your uh, damn door. You could, you oh, could that, toss, that's oh. trifling. That's trifling. You could toss that's the, fucking trifling. You could toss the orange. Hey, yo, the trees are expensive. Thing. No, that's trifling as fuck. No, no, no. Trees, that's trifling. Trees are expensive. That's trifling as shit. No, trees are expensive. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. No. <laughs> For one holiday, I gotta spend sixty, eighty dollars. <laughs> Kiss my ass. I spend twenty dollars at the Family Dollar, put a Velcro tree on the back of this motherfucking door, and throw all my ornaments. <laughs> nigga, nigga, I give me one of them punk ass Charlie Brown trees, and we call it a day. <laughs> Wait, <whoa. laughs> I'm over here. Hey, I'm over here trying to do the dance from Charlie, the Charlie Brown, the damn TV show. 
Yo, they took it. Oh, um, shit. I just realized. We're not going to yeah. be able to see Charlie Brown Spencer's no more because they took him off TV. Why? What the fuck? You're the only one that's upset, you old motherfucker. Wait, nah. Wait, hey. wait, wait. No, hold on. What, 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 what happened to Charlie Brown? Hold up. This is new to me. <coughs> I have to look it up in the news, but they was taking him off. Charlie Brown shit. Uh, when I find the article. Article, I will I will send it to you. Man, fuck that. As long as they don't take grandma got ran over by a reindeer, I'm good. I hate nah, that don't fucking fuck with, movie. Don't for me, don't fuck with the Grinch. Don't fuck with the are Grinch. You, Ray, are you fucking serious? I hate that, but it's fucking trash. So <laughs> the what? song is the, the song is good, but the fucking movie is trash. So what? It's a holiday special. I hate Frosty the Snowman every time I watch it. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer every time I watch it. Those are nah, white I, can't, I can't shit. I can't <laughs> shit on. I can't shit on Frosty. Rudolph the Red Nose. Rudolph, I'll give you, but like I can't shit on Frosty. I like Frosty. Man, fuck Frosty the Snowman. You, they got a white man playing the snowman. But no, my. <laughs> I, 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 I dare you, Father. I'm not going to say the obvious. I'm not going to say the obvious. Never mind. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. No. I'm going to leave the fuck alone. No. Nope. Nope. You already nope. said nope. something. Proceed. Proceed. Nope. Nope. I'm going to leave I'm gonna leave it alone. Proceed. I'm about to say, I dare you to object to it. Pro I fucking C. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> See, is it, now you're oh. just trying to start shit. Proceed. Okay. Then. Dion. <laughs> Dion, you gotta watch the Charlie Brown Christmas special either on PBS or Apple TV. That's the only way you can find it. Uh PBS old anyway, but it's for viewers like you. Not me. Who are old. I'm about to say that shit is not for viewers like me. It's for viewers like my daughter. I mean, don't get me wrong, I stopped watching it after Arthur kind of went off. So, you know, there's no reason for me to watch PBS no more. No, Wait, they took, they took Dragon Tales off. Man, fuck PBS. <laughs> that was the best thing they ever had. Dragon Tales, oh, Arthur, I'm Between not, the I'm Lions. I'm not going to pretend like Dragon Tales wasn't fun to watch. <laughs> Nigga, Between the Lions, and they took all the good shit off. Fuck TV. <laughs> Streaming channels to the day we die. All right, so let's oh, go let's get to the next topic at hand. All right, quick question. Has anybody here seen the Spider-Man movie. No. I have not. Okay, nobody has seen yes. it. Spider- okay, D-Wolf, I will not I've talk seen to it. you. I, I already know. It was great. <laughs> has anybody mm-hmm. seen has anybody seen the Matrix movie? Uh, no. Not yet. No, but I know, no, but I know it's on HBO Max. Shout out to HBO Max. I'm a, I might watch that shit tonight. Yeah. Not even gonna front. I might watch that shit either tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so nobody has seen those movies. Now, my next my next topic is a topic I think we've uh, discussed this a couple of times uh, throughout other episodes. But I I feel like now is the time to really you know make this argument. Um, what do you think was the best movie of 2020? 20 or 2020 or whatever year this is. 2020, <laughs> whatever year this is. <laughs> because exactly you right. Robin Williams this, right now? this is my show. Okay. I'm the host of this. He do from the Terminator. <laughs> this, this, is, my account. this is my well, show. Well, until, until oh, I see Rondon. others. Until I see either Spider Man or Matrix, uh, the harder they fall. I think the harder they fall was a, a movie that came out in 2021, and I thought it was really good. I so that's I probably like my that black. That's probably my blackness. You know, talking. Really, not wrong with that. Not wrong with that at all. I have yet we'll, to watch that one. We'll leave you alone with that, Father. I'm sorry. What was the question again? Movie of the year, my guy. Movie of the year. 
So far. Space Jam 2. Check now. So, so, uh, ah, beat your ass. <laughs> Way about to get muted. Way about to get muted. LeBron. We're talking ah. to bro. LeBron. Oh, I'll be chilling. Ray is about to get muted real fast. <laughs> You know what? Can't I'm do just, me on the moderator. Dude. Honestly, I'm just gonna say Spider Man because I seen it twice already, and I genuinely enjoyed what they did with the movie. I'm gonna say that until I remember what else came out. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Bruh, I mean, yo, to be honest, what else came out this year? Did you see Venom? Did you see Venom? Uh, D Wolf. No man, and I fucking forgot. I was supposed to watch that before watching Spider Man, and I fucking forgot. Uh, uh okay. Did you see Free pissed, Guy? I, like, I heard no, Free. I heard Free Guy the, was really good. After um, no, yeah, Free Guy was really good. I enjoyed. Yeah, I free think guy. isn't that available on HBO Max? What about Somewhere. Squid Game? That's not a movie. Well, Squid Game's not a movie. <laughs> it's a TV show. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a TV show. I have not watched. Oh it, shit! I will, I will not watch it. Nah, game oh, what about up. Karen that came out on BT? <laughs> We're oh, not going to mention anything. Wait, that was BT. Right, Ray, this is my show. We don't mention Karen that came out on BT. We don't mention BT. No, I, I that's on the strength of just fuck BT. Just <laughs> fuck them. No, nah, it's not even fuck BT. Damn. BT original movies. Fuck. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Holy shit! I, 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 damn. Now I'm torn because I'll say, oh man. Okay, suicide. The Suicide Squad. That shit blew my mind. <laughs> that was actually good. Up, that Sis, was. Suicide Squad was great. Yeah, so I'm like, that was, damn, that was the one that was that was sticking in my head before Spider Man. I just what about Shang Chi? Like, damn, now I'm torn. Shang Chi was good. I didn't even good, see, but I wouldn't man. call it movie of the year. I don't, so. I don't know. I haven't watched a lot of the shit that came out this year, so it's like, I as bad as I want to answer this question, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I, I think history movies, so I can just marathon them shits. So. I, I honestly more the episode this year. It was really more episodic shit that was really running media, uh, media's like the fucking Marvel phases and Invincible and the Boys. It was more that's that's what I feel like a yeah. lot of people, people was paying attention to. Yeah. What's your so mind? If you ask me, what's like the, the episodic stuff? If you haven't watched the Hawkeye series, get on that. That shit is trash. <laughs> Hawkeye was good. That's, Hawkeye, yeah, like, Hawkeye. That shit Hawkeye is good. because I'm biased towards. I'm biased towards it because I love archery, but, but at the same <laughs> time, I'm like, you know. Bro, you do strike me as a type. It's good. I'm enjoying it. I didn't finish it yet. I'm enjoying it. But I'm like, watch hey, say, watch I'm the like, last episode. So much. He probably I mean, like, don't know what to say. He probably like Green Lantern too. Oh, Green Lantern was ass. Green Lantern oh, no, was no. ass. I was just happy I saw a live action version of it, but no, it wasn't. It. Green Lantern Green had the Lantern was, was total ass. ass. Green Lantern. Green it was just pure nostalgia for me. Part of that that movie. That's the only part of me that liked it. But other than that, Green I'm like, was I can the tell first you it's not movie. Even from a filmmaker standpoint, movie. I can tell you it's not good. Green Lantern. Anybody see that Bond movie. movie that came out? Nope. Nope. The what? Damn. <laughs> what movie? Bond. Bond. Uh, the 007 movie that came out. Uh, oh, no. uh, yeah. At this point, if it's not on Netflix or Disney, no Plus, time to die. No Netflix. time to die. That's what it's called. Like, yeah. I think movie, bro. You know what I think? I think movies coming out on theaters exclusively is actually killing the uh, industry a little bit. Because it might you know, be like, nah. Because think about it. Quarant- it what, like when we was quarantined, they had no choice but to release all that shit on Netflix. On Disney Plus and all them shits, like it was convenient. Now niggas gotta spend money and go outside to watch these movies again. They're not trying to do that. <laughs> but Spider Man kind of Spider Man's the exception to that, though. I mean, yeah, of course Spider Man's gonna be like, the exception to that. He's Spider Man. 
He's Spider Man. I was about to say people was going yeah. people was going to risk COVID for Spider Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, if I was going to risk COVID, for Spider-Man. it's really hard to go wrong with Spider Man. And not man, saying it hasn't man. been done, but bro, not only that, you got Tom Holland in there too. Like people go to the movies just for him alone. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> he's got that baby face thing going for him. <laughs> he's Spider Man. He's dating Zendaya. Then you got Jamie Fox. Then you got Jamie Fox. I, would, I mean, I, yeah. I'm just glad he doesn't look like what he did is. The Amazing Spider-Man too, because I don't know why. That's what he said in an interview. Yo, Ray, he <laughs> said that in an interview. He was like, yeah, because I was happy I didn't have to wear that shit. I wasn't blue. That was And more that's comic funny. book accurate. So that's I was like, yo, he actually shit. said it. That's funny as shit. Because <laughs> he, he knew that shit was terrible. That's funny mm-hmm. as fuck. <laughs> But his evolution, it was good, yo. It was good. That's He's, funny as all fuck. He redeemed the character. Let's say that. He redeemed the character. From okay. Amazing but Spider-Man. to answer your question, Q, if you're asking me the best movie right now, until I see Spider-Man and or Matrix, I'm going with The Harder They Fall. Now, uh, you talk about the episodic shit that came out. Uh, Pose. Okay. I might go with Pose. Me is okay. Doom Patrol. That shit. It's crazy. I really it's between like, Pose, I really like the, the Boys. Chucky the Chucky series was cool. It's it's between Pose, the Boys, and Invincible. Because Invincible was fucking amazing. Invincible yes. was amazing. The Boys was absolutely But did the Boys spot. come out in 2021? Yeah. The, the second season of it, Invisible. yes. Was the it? Boys. It didn't come out. It's supposed to come out this year, but they delayed it. The Boys was It was, was supposed amazing. to come out this year, but they delayed it. Um, Season three. Shit, it might be posed. Because if it came out, you believe I would have said that. I thought it was <laughs> earlier was this year. Because I remember watching. It was supposed to be. I was pissed. They they delayed it, COVID and all that. Personally, I mean, they I, shot a lot, but I don't know why they don't. They won't just release. But yeah. Personally, I like Invincible. Invincible was, was Invincible fucked me up the first episode. Invincible was. Oh, yeah, the fucking it board. <laughs> it fucked it me did. up the first episode. The very first Yo, episode. Yo, my jaw when he yeah. when he popped that dude head, mm-hmm. my jaw dropped. It was like the way it was, everybody. It was the boys like animated. It, 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 <laughs> I'm like, it, come it, on. Dare I say this? I feel like if, if we're gonna talk about Invincible, that's worthy of like a, 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 its own episode on this podcast because so much happened across that fucking series. Hey, shout out to his father. His father's some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the shitty fathers yeah. out there. Who, who's, there. You know what I'm saying? who's who's there with their son but treat their son like some shit. Y'all should really yeah. like watch that so y'all can understand. Oh, Yo, this nigga, he beat the Yo, he beat the shit out of. <laughs> he, he beat, beat the, the shit out of this. He beat the brakes off his son. Yo, he beat the brakes up. Oh my god. Oh my and, god. And he talks. It's no issue. Why are you talking fucking shit to him? He said, "I can put out another kid if I want to." What the fuck is seventeen years? I said, "Oh my damn, this nigga is a goon." <laughs> I'll be mad at you, shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was epic. It was Ew, like that. That nigga yes. did Ew, not give me shit. That, that's the definition. I have no soul. Because <laughs> he had no soul at oh, all. It was, it was almost ridiculous. But I, uh, I like, ain't no I, almost to that, dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> ain't no almost to that. If I'm talking about movies, um, I would have to lean towards D Wolf when it comes to Suicide Squad. That movie was better than what the fuck I expected to be, and more. It was great. Uh, the Harder They Fall was a great movie. Um, Spider Man was a great fucking movie, but I can't really give my opinion until everybody else watches it. Mm-hmm. So outside oh, of Spider Man, I would say yeah, Suicide Squad is. My movie of the year, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much. I, I, don't, I don't really, I don't really, you know, I, I, I plan on watching The Matrix 
tomorrow. And I have a great feeling that Keanu Reeves does it again. Keanu Reeves has yet to disappoint me. Like, he does it again. Like, I think the only bad movie Keanu Reeves has been a part of was Call 16, and I don't blame that on Keanu Reeves himself. If you can't, if you don't blame Constantine on Keanu, you really can't blame doing? Green Lantern on fucking Ryan Reynolds. I don't know. I could. Blame I, I don't blame Green Lantern on Ryan Reynolds. I, I really don't. I do. No, I don't blame it on Ryan Reynolds. He did. I think that was a miscasting. And whoever wrote that, I don't know what they're. Doing. I blame the writers on Green Lantern. Thank you. I Thank Green Lantern was. Green I think Lantern he was, was a, a perfect Green Lantern, but the writing is ass. Nah, I've think, always said that. I, I no, I'm not talking was, about his um acting skills in it. I'm talking about the character. It doesn't really fit him. Yeah, you don't think so? The character itself from the comic book. That's what I meant. Because he's more of Wait, a, isn't um, the character Kyle Rayner Green Lantern than a Hal Jordan? Like, like this. Jordan, I was like, why didn't they just give him right? this? Which, what, huh? what you say? How, yeah. throw, how those? He's throw? more. Okay. He's more close to like Superman type of you know, but Kyle is more like that. He's like more like the Flash and like you know. Make it cracking jokes and shit. Yeah, Kyle is that person. He's the artist. Yeah. So uh, when I when it was announced, I was like, okay, if it's Ryan Reynolds, why didn't they why didn't they just make it Kyle? And because that's that's not Hal Jordan. But I'm not blaming Ryan Reynolds. He, his acting was no problem in it. It's just it didn't fit who I who I was expecting. That's all. I'm but other than that, like the movie, it. whoever wrote it. <laughs> I blame myself for going to see it. I watched it on fucking TV, so... No, I I was stupid enough to pay money to go see it. (laughs) That's your own fucking fault. I was young and dumb and naive. But yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Deadpool. I mean, Ryan Reynolds as an actor. (laughs) He made up. He made up for that. He made up for, for that shitty ass that, Green Lantern that, movie. That, that's what I said when I said it. Like, just, oh With man. Deadpool His was. Rendition of Deadpool is, is amazing. His rendition of Deadpool was amazing. It's exactly what it was supposed to be. Yes. He was a complete douchebag. And it was, a um. <laughs> <laughs> he had to make up for that shit in the, um, what do you call it, the first Wolverine movie? Yeah, that Deadpool. No, oh, you're talking about um X Men Origins Wolverine, to which yeah, yeah. that oh my god, he, what were they thinking? What literally they thinking? did what were they thinking? How do you he literally the, did? How do you them. take the Merc with the mouth hope all and remove that. his mouth? Hope what the you. fuck? Right, like right, <laughs> and he literally. <laughs> He fixed it. That's Shit talking is Deadpool's thing because he knows he basically can't die. Mm-hmm. Isn't that amazing how he can't die? Insane. But everybody wants to kill this bastard. Yeah, he's, he's got That's the same power as Wolverine. Like more everybody, extreme. Everybody hates him, but he can't die. So it's like you got to deal with him forever. All right, like he's like. Like across like the comedy shit, Wolverine has like decapitated him several times just because he sent some shit to piss Wolverine off. And he just grew his head and while the other limbs Wolverine cut off back like the next minute. Like that's what I don't give a fuck. I just love the fact that his arm if his arm rips off, he grows a baby arm and it looks weird as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tiny ass fucking arm, and that shit is like really weird as shit. You know, some, like, it's supposed to be weird. It's just like what the fuck, ew! That stupid ass arm. It's, like, it's supposed say, to be weird. It's supposed to be weird. You can't say nothing, but that's a stupid ass arm. Like ew. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's a that's a scary movie too. Arm. I was just about take to. My, I was just about to take say. my strong. <laughs> take my hand. Grab take, my hand. Take my strong. No, that part when they were fucking. It's not even worse than when he was walking. I was crying. I was crying. Like, my... Yo, remember when he was walking and he had the lower half growing and it was still infant. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> After you got the ripped into fuck. That's worse, yo. <laughs> yeah, that, that shit was horrible. <laughs> yo. But Deadpool, oh. Deadpool was amazing. But if I had to pick a movie for this year, it would definitely be Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad did great. John Cena even did good, and he was annoying as shit. <laughs> John Cena, that was that was his one of my favorites. His character is from the show series. Now. What did you say, Dion? His character is supposed to have a series. All I, I think. Like he, his, I, I love. Yeah, that. HBO Max. I just, I love the casting in that I movie. Saw the trailer, what? And I also what? love the fact that everybody who went out there the first time died. Like Wait, that. what? <laughs> yo. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, it's just like, what, you know, I haven't yo, actually watched the movie. So I'm just like, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, you okay, haven't? Oh, go. shit. I mean, no, I mean, it, it is what it is at this point. I'm, it, it, if it's on, if it's on HBO Max, I'm probably going to watch it tomorrow. Put it, put it this way. I don't mean to, ver- I don't mean to be a spoiler. I know we don't like spoilers here, but I'm going to go ahead and say this one part. They send the su- they send two separate Suicide Squads, <laughs> and it was funny because they sent Harley Quinn with the first gang, with the first uh, squad, and they go to the island that they're supposed to be like getting some secret stuff from. And, and what the only one that comes back is Harley. Har- they all die. Everybody there dies. They die horrible deaths. The only person it's only two people mm-hmm. who survive. It's a fucking weasel, and it's Harley Quinn. <laughs> so I was partially right. <laughs> and then they send they send the actual suicide squad that we see in the movie, they send them on the other side of the island. So basically the first the first people they sent was a decoy for the other people to get behind. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It was fucked up. Oh, shit. That's I don't I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was brutal. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, the way they died. I don't, was, was I don't know what to say to that. Yo, I did not expect. I don't that. know what to say to that. Oh shit! The funny thing is, the weasel. Yo, died. Dion, that experience alone will be like holy shit. But but see, you gotta understand. You gotta understand the character of um the person in charge of the Suicide Squad, Amanda Waller. Yeah, she doesn't. Give Amanda, a fuck. yeah, she doesn't give a fuck. like. Nope. Like this, the same person. Like this, the same bitch that clapped a room full of people just because she didn't want, like, what she was doing with the Suicide really? Squad to get out in the original Suicide Squad movie. Will Smith. Shut yeah. up. Like this, just walk the so room and just, just spray everybody by Network, the way. I was like, you know what? No, what were you saying? Damn. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, now I'm saying ever since I seen her on Justice League, uh, um, on Cartoon Network, I was like, "Yo!" Anytime I saw her, I didn't care who portrayed her; she was my favorite character in whatever show. I remember she showed up in um, Smallville, and it was Pam Greer who played her. I was like, "Oh shit, word!" And it just went. Now we got uh, Viola Davis, and I'm like, "Chill." Yeah, my, every time I see her portrayed, it gets better and better. So. Yeah, she was amazing. God. Her- Anybody, her playing a bad She kills guy. it, son. And that's the thing. And she's like calling back to her early acting um, career because those are the roles she played. She was either a cop or a lawyer on TV. And then she branched out of that and got into movies, started playing other roles. And now she gets to bring what she started with into that and make her more hardcore, son. I'm like, yo, this is perfect casting. Yeah. Perfect fucking casting. Yeah, they, they did she, that thing. She was amazing in How to Get Away with Murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was. But on to the next topic. This is a topic that I'm actually excited about because this year we've seen a lot of stupid things happen <laughs> <laughs> in social media and, and the internet. I know my introductions are amazing. I've been practicing this all day. So, oh, uh, you know what? Kiss <laughs> my ass. <laughs> <laughs> the blackest part. 
the, the, the kiss my ass, Ray. I actually was looking forward to this. So, <laughs> hey, man, I'm, I'm happy. I'm legitimately happy. I'm smiling. So, the next topic <laughs> that I have is a topic that I was really looking forward to because of all the things that we've encountered on the internet this year. My question for you guys is, what would you consider the meme of the year? Anything with Dr. Umar. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry, I gotta go with I, I'm sorry, I gotta go with my head don't move. <laughs> was that this year or was that last year? That was this that year. was early this year. That was, that was early this year. year. My hair she don't back, move. She, she back again because her fucking my friend um Ray. Yeah, she was she back again because her thing. hair was falling out. <laughs> oh fucking dummy. All I can do is laugh because it's like you ain't learned from the gorilla glue incident, you stupid. <laughs> Yo, and people wanted me to give her slack. I was like, no, she is a forty year old woman. You know better. Yeah, but at least you like... should. At least I'm you should know better. You was like, like fifteen, give or take twenty. No, but you are forty. You know better. And for what she says, she know a lot about hair. Then you should know that shit shouldn't go in your fucking hair. Her hair was like a fucking football helmet. That's the shit that bugged me. And people wanted me to. And people were like, "Oh man, give us like everyone makes mistakes." I said, "She is a that shit is detrimental to her fucking health." After a while, you gotta like say, "Yo, I keep I understand we are humans and we do make some mistakes, but there are times where I feel like as human beings, we need to look at people. And go, you stupid motherfucker." What is wrong with you? That's why I, we have hazard signs. It's for, <laughs> I realize that's why we have hazard signs. It's for stupid people. Hey, <laughs> the floor is wet. Don't walk over it. You're going to hurt yourself. But that, but then that's why a lot of people are saying take the warning signs off of shit and just let natural selection do its fucking thing. People would well, die. That's how you get sued. <laughs> as much as I like the natural selection, that's how also you get yeah. sued. Because stupid people. I'm about to say, I, 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 I believe <laughs> if, a, if a door doesn't say pull or push, people will legit be at the door for 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> I've seen it. Oh, shit. You ever, watch, fucking... you ever watch people running the glass? It's the funniest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> but and yeah, I, I'm, I'm good. Oh, my, hair, my hair don't upset. move. My As someone who's walking to a glass door before, I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> I was a child at the time, but that's what's off the. <laughs> my um, my secondary is Derek Jackson because I got a whole lot of laughs out of that one. That Derek Jackson shit. <laughs> Derek Jackson. <laughs> Kevin Samuels, man, y'all made my year so great. But there, there's one me, there's one man above all. His name is Boosie Badass. <laughs> Get the fuck. What, I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> when, when it comes to viral memes, whatever. Come on, man. Come on, Boosie Boo. Bozy boo. <laughs> Come on, Vlad. That's fucked up, Vlad. Like, I'm sorry. The 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 I'm the the memes, man. This year, when it comes to viral videos and to things like this has been like the dumbest, most funniest, <laughs> entertaining year I've ever like came across. Uh as far as like Mm-hmm. I feel like we need to revisit this next week. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like this is going to be a new some, one. Super, just 2021 20 superlative. That needs to be the conversation for next week. Like, we're going to revisit this next week, man. Please do. Man, Please hey, me. hey, shout out to the crate challenge. We still ain't yeah, forget about you, dumb motherfuckers. Oh, shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> YK Osiris, you still owe Boosie Badass $2,000 for falling off them crates. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that was another one. That one right there was natural selection because 
old people was getting up on them shits. I'm like, man, I, y'all, I y'all off, really stupid. I fall off the crate for the money. Niggas were dying. Motherfuckers were dying from, crate, <laughs> from crates. It's ridiculous. It's, 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 oh my God. I'm trying to think. It's so many fucking, it's so much shit that didn't happen this year. Lil Nas X is a legend. When it comes to trolling, he's the biggest troll of the he's, year. He, he, yeah, he's definitely troll of the year. He's troll of the year. Um, uh, what else was there? There was Vin Diesel family. Oh, uh, family was amazing. Oh shit, family! Forgot about that. Oh yeah, fast. What fast? Whatever came yeah. out this year too. I think it's fast. Eight, nine, ten. It, 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 is it a, no? Is it's it, nine. It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. I was say, I know my man <laughs> that man. Family. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> You can't help but laugh when you see when you see them shits though. I don't mean but why is there not movies? There's not movies of this shit. Like, uh, oh, because man, people yeah. like cars. Because people nah, like cars. cars. That's it. Nah, that's, but, that's, like, my thing is Fast and Furious started like in the early 2000s. I think. I think the first one came out like 99, 2000. That's a 20 year franchise. And they still That's doing crazy. this shit. And they still doing this shit, like, bro. And then they're they're in space. The Fast and the Furious was two thousand and one, right? The original, yeah. the um, the original one, the Fast and the Furious, that was on right. two thousand and one. And it still yeah, stands yeah, corrected yeah. because it's twenty years. Right. It's twenty years. Twenty years, and this shit is still going on. Family. Man, family. That ain't family, nigga. You just Toronto, we don't care about your family no more. Yeah, I don't know. His family grown up. This was really it. Your family died when Paul. Shit, out of died. out of the twenty years of French that, that this French house been in motion, it took what was it, five or six years for um Dominic to run and realize he had a fucking kid. So <laughs> that nigga had a brother that we couldn't see because he was John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit in the fucking corner. Right. <laughs> it's, a, hey, it's a fact. Yo. Yo. Well, wait, am I wrong? Just, 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 just am I wrong? wrong? Nope. So, all right. Mm-hmm. So, Ray, since you bring that up, I'm going to ask you a dumbass question. It's lit, but it's what's, not what's, 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 what's worse? Finding out Toretto has another brother who happens to be John Cena. Or finding out Will Smith has a legitimate, uh, illegitimate son in a whole other fucking country. Is that true? F- fucking uh, Bad Boys Jesus 3, me. genius. I have not seen Bad Boys 3. What? Thank you, you for, need to get on that. Thank you for, spo- thank you for spoiling Bad Boys 3 for me. <laughs> but nah, you, but you need to get on that, though. Mm-hmm. You need Bitch, you that. need to still watch it anyway. Right. Get on it. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't give a fuck about spoiling that shit. It's a spoiler that you ain't watched the shit yet. Watch the damn movie, right? You ain't watched it yet. (laughs) Right. You're the problem. If you haven't watched it, you're the problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. That was really good. I'm the problem. That shit was really good. Don't blame me. Usually, people say, Have you seen this movie before you give away the spoilers? And I'm the problem. But But that movie's been around for. Ray, last week we legit had an argument about Rush Hour or Bad Boys, and you agreed to Bad Boys. How can you agree to Bad Boys if you haven't seen Part Three? You said a better series because between Rush Hour, but we was like individual movies, and I said Bad Boys. Exactly. And that's showing you how much I like but Bad Boys. But you ain't seen the but third one, so now I'm like, three. whatever answer you had. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. That's showing you how much I like that. I haven't even seen three. And I think it's better than Rush Hour. Okay. All right. But still, that's not cool. <laughs> it's not, Ray. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Uh, even then that. last week, I said, I haven't seen three. I haven't seen Rush Hour three. But I haven't seen that. I, you don't remember. I don't. Mm-hmm. All right. It's all right. You be hollering, son. Man, don't judge my motherfucking <laughs> shit for you not watching Bad Boys for life. 
how have you, I, how have you not I, seen Bad Boys? How you're standing right behind me? I don't know. Man. I don't know. I'm the funny thing is, it was, it was everywhere. Father, you right. I'm very offended. I feel like I feel like I lost a piece of my friend for not saying that shit. Wow. <laughs> Ray, you was a been, you were been supposed to see that. Wow. You have you have to watch the movie now, dog. Your friendship with with Q is on the line, dog. You got No, nah, it's now. not. It's not on the line. It's nah, not that serious. It's it's nah, not on the that. line. Not that serious. That's, that's, like no. that's like me telling that's like me telling you to go see coming to America too, or we ain't friends no more. <laughs> nah, that's that's ah, a, that's shit, a that did come out this year. Oh man, coming to America. Are, are you really about to put that in the movie of the year? Kind Fuck of no. Though? I'm about to say, Fuck please don't no. disrespect me. Did you, don't disrespect me. <laughs> did you not see my review coming to America? Was, I, I know, I'm just saying, it was horrible. There shouldn't have been a part two. Yeah, that was my whole thing about coming to America. Why was they making it? There's we're, no we're, reason. The story had a beginning, middle, and an end. And the end. There's no reason for them to risk it. That's why every time when I saw Coming to America 2, it's like, please stop. No, I don't want that. Who the fuck wants this? Like, we don't care. But the point of the matter is, you haven't seen Bad Boys 3. I'm upset. You need to see it before the year is over. So you got like a week. So now you got three movies to watch. You got to watch Spider-Man, you got to watch Matrix, and you got to watch Bad Boys 3. Sure thing, I'll get on it. Don't say I get on it and then fall asleep in the middle of the movie. I will get on it because okay. I'm pretty sure someone will send me something if I can't find it anywhere. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're going to see Bad Boy Story going to pop up on TV somewhere. Bad Boy Story going to pop up on TV somewhere. Just It always know. does. No, nah, not yet. Give it, give it a couple more months. It'll be up. No, it's already been on TV though. Oh, it has. Yeah, like that. That that's how I watch it. The fuck. Bad Boys Three is amazing. I don't know if I want to watch some TNT or BET version of Bad Boys for Life. I have actual movie channels for where like I see it uncensored in the whole nine. So. Motherfucker, that don't oh. count as TV then. Yeah, I'm about to say that don't count as TV. That kind of movie I ain't going to the theater to see the shit. The fuck? Oh my god, Dion! <laughs> Are you talking about Showtime and HBO or Cinemax? Oh my god, yes, Dion. nigga. Oh my god, that doesn't Dion. count as regular TV. That's cable or satellite. It's... Oh my god, Dion! And those are literally movie channels where you can't see it. Oh my god, Dion! Let me be cheap. Leave me alone. That's not cheap. That's not cheap. That's called being Dion. <laughs> Whatever. Let me be cheap. Being cheap. Uh, being cheap is getting a, is asking the customer for a deal. Being Dion is asking the customer for a deal and then turning in the receipt to get your money back. I'm not that petty. God damn. <laughs> But yeah, that that's petty. Like, damn, is it really? I, uh, <laughs> it, it is. But is it petty towards Dion? Are you oblivious? Are, are are you are you telling me you wouldn't do that? No, I'm again. I'm not that damn petty. Yeah. There's cheap and then there's petty. I will openly admit to being cheap as fuck. That I'm not. Uh, I, I I can be petty at times depending on. The the issue at hand, but no, I'm not that bad, nigga. Damn. I believe it when I see it. On to the next. Fuck you. On to the next topic at hand. This is all right. So this is a serious topic. Um, there has been a very steep increase in uh COVID. Uh, and COVID cases in the last couple of weeks, and uh, I want to hear you guys' opinion on if you think they should uh, shut the country down again, or if you think they will actually do it. And I'm gonna start with D Wolf this time. 
All right. Um, no, I don't think they should because the variants are coming from the vaccinated. Um, every time a virus beats a vaccination, it loses its um, it loses its virulency, but it increases its um, what's what's the word again when you catch it? Anyway, you get it easier, so it's going to spread easier. So you won't get as sick as you did before. Or if you haven't gotten it, it's not going to be as bad. It's not like life threatening unless you're like, as you know, the rules go when it comes to COVID. If you're already um, compromised respiratorily and um, if you have any other underlying conditions, of course, and if you're elderly. Yeah. So with that, it's going to be like any flu. So those who are sick should know, OK, stay home. Let's not spread it as if you did have the flu. Right. That's what you do. Common sense. So what and now and this is classified as a pandemic. So I think people are smart enough to know, OK, uh, no, I'm going to stay home or I can't even get out of fucking bed. So what's the point? You know, and the people who are good, they're going to go around just like we always do. So, no, I don't think anybody should shut down. OK, Ray. But they'll. I believe. Father done said this, so um, financially, we can't have another shutdown. So I think they're just going to say, fuck it. Y'all might as well just catch the motherfucker because we're not going to shut down the fucking U.S. for shit. Even though that could probably be one of the better better positions, but it, you know, people, we've been shut down for like two whole years. A lot of people have been going crazy. A lot of people have been doing some weird shit. And a lot of people don't have random ideas. I think people just want this pandemic to be over. And uh, for some reason, they pop up like uh, the motherfucking virus keeps fucking digivolving into other fucking <laughs> stronger virus and shit. <laughs> All right. We over here like war, war Greymon fucking Delta variants and shit. Um, Let's not forget, this is already flu season. Man. And it's flu season. So I don't think a lot of people... Yeah, yeah. I, I think people are to the point where it's like, you know what, if I get it, fuck it. <laughs> Even though that's not a good idea either. But I feel like a lot of people are going to feel that way. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and then a lot of people are going to be like, you know, I'm vaccinated, but I understand there's going to be more and more booster shots and all that stuff. There's already memes of that, by the way. It's like people talking about getting all these extra booster shots and all that other stuff. I still need to get vaccinated if just so I can go find jobs and all that other stuff, just to do like work and all that other stuff. So I know I need to do that. But uh, other than, <laughs> yeah, I don't see people. I don't see the world shutting down. If the NBA, I, this is gonna seem really stupid, but the NBA or the NFL not shutting down, I don't think the world is gonna shut down. I can agree. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think there wouldn't, there shouldn't be a shutdown. Uh, because of what Father said, financially, it, it, it doesn't make sense. It's not going to help us. It's going to put us in a bigger hole. And obviously, they're not prepared for a shutdown. Um, at the same time, I've always felt like getting a vaccine, getting any type of vaccination increases the opportunity of you catching the virus. If you pay attention, a lot of people usually catch the flu when they get a flu shot. So it um, it could possibly this could possibly be a, a turn in events where it helps grow or helps our immune system to adapt to what COVID actually is. It, it helps us fight it off. Um, I just I, I'm I'm not ready for another uh, shutdown. I'm I'm just not Me- mentally. I can't do it again. I can't. I can't sit in this house again. I, I just can't. Um, you see what happens when people are finally let outside after they're made to be inside for uh, x amount of months, weeks. They do stupid shit, and I, I don't have the time nor energy to watch motherfuckers climb over crates again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
they gonna find something worse to do than that after all this time. I'm sure they're gonna rob people. That's what I think. They already robbing people, stealing motherfuckers' cars and shit. I just want to say, real quick, you see how when we talk about the lockdown, how there's a certain energy about it, because you know crime rose during the lockdowns. Like a lot of shit got worse during the lockdown. So if they do intend to lock America down, just be prepared for the fact that you have destroyed the consciousness of a people through overconsumption and hyper-individualism. It's a country that literally eats itself. So... Actually, Father, I, 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 I want to have the audience actually get a, a deeper dive in what you just said on how the country is eating itself, if you may. All right, so I'm going to give you an example, and it was a pretty recent one. Remember when the lockdown first happened and or like the coronavirus, the coronavirus was like gaining traction in America. What was the very first thing people started hoarding? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Right. Something that would actually be beneficial to a lot of people. But you had people fucking like they, it even got to the point where people were reselling toilet paper. Like. Nice that in itself, bro, that in itself, like when you think about that, like, yo, it's a pandemic and you're hoarding toilet paper. You're not allowing other people to have access to that. And then y'all trying to find a way to make a quick buck about it. That is, that's pretty sickening. <laughs> that's trifling as fuck. That's trifling as hell to even consider that. When you know people <laughs> are out here and, you know, something right side like of that. this is you know serious you know the bright light like, side of that mm -hmm. is that we witness who these people are so we know if shit goes down you ain't in our circle son <laughs> we know i mean as funny as that sounds it's because anything true. can happen and a situation will come and that that shit will go down the people who are like us we are saying what the fuck is this we're going to witness who these people are and we're going to know who to cut the fuck out of our lives. Straight up. I, I agree feel... with that. Yeah. Not, um, go ahead, Father. Go ahead, Father. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Um, and this goes on to my further point about how the country eats itself because if you're depriving someone that is supposed to be your countryman, you know what I'm saying? Like, you are Americans. Something as serious as a pandemic, people should be on code with each other and actually help each other out. Now, of course, we've seen examples of this, but at the same time, like the way people reacted, this is a sick ass motherfucking society. So, irregardless of whether this country goes on a lockdown or not, I think the problem is way deeper than we could ever conceive of it to be when it comes to this whole coronavirus shit. Because way too many people have different opinions. Way too many people don't actually shut the hell up and see what is actually going on and how we can come up with examples to fix it. It's either get the vaccine and get laughed at by people or, you know, don't get the vaccine and people call you crazy or you're a dangerous threat to society. Like, it's people talking over each other over and over and over and over again and nobody is focused on the actual fucking solution. You know what I mean? Like, I think that, you know, either either way, the fact that, and uh, I'm going to refer back to this example, the toilet paper shit, like that is an example of the country eating itself because that shows you that when shit's about to hit the fan and there's a situation where we actually need to come together to fix the problem, people would rather make a quick buck. People would rather deprive someone else of resources so in, uh, inherently that makes the country worse as a collective it's happened to us so many times but it really took the coronavirus to let motherfuckers sit the hell down and actually realize that these people that are supposed to be your countrymen are products of a society that has engineered them to be nothing but consumers so okay 
I appreciate you know who said that, what Bobby. you just said. Um, yeah, because um, damn Jim Brewer, the the comedian. And you, I'm sure all y'all seen a half baked, right? Yeah. Which okay. okay. So remember the one that was like, he looks high even if he's not high. You know that character, the one with the, yeah. did all the funny faces and shit like that, the crazy one. Yeah. Him. So him, he said, he said what Father said basically, and that shit went viral on Twitter. I don't know if it was on his TikTok or his. Uh, I didn't Instagram. even know he I'm said. Not sure, that. but I saw it on. He said that, yeah, and I'm like, damn, son, hundred <laughs> percent. And that shit went viral, son. Then they suppressed it because he started telling the truth. So you don't, you know, now you gotta look for it. it ain't gonna pop up for you. So uh, all I know That's, is that lets you know you just spoke truth. Yeah, but what I, all I know is either way, you're gonna have to come up with the money again. <laughs> y'all gonna y'all gonna print another two trillion? Mm-hmm. Like, let's go. This is America, right? <laughs> straight up. I just I feel like their fucking mercy, yo, straight up. I, I feel like it's just a bad time. And I feel like we're still like adapting to how society is now. This would be a very bad time to shut down the country again when we already have some type of resource to understand how to get past this pandemic or at least fight it off I feel like them shutting down the country would just be another excuse you know what I agree with that and I agree with why uh, y'all are saying that there shouldn't be a lockdown but at the same time if there was a lockdown it would give an opportunity to actually uh, reflect again. Because whether you like it or not, being alone, being isolated, it opens your fucking mind. And I think people need that after just even the past 20 years. Look at the shit that's happened. You know what I'm saying? 2008 financial crisis, like a lot of shit has happened. (laughs) And now we're fighting a pandemic. And think about the shit niggas was doing even before what we're facing now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see the pattern? Like, it's a pattern. I'm telling you. It's always been this way. I just don't like how everything is going. And it's just funny how 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 the cases suddenly go up around Christmas time. <laughs> Yeah, Christmas time is, you know, that's when people are out buying gifts. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's when people are out, you know, they're going to make that long trek to see somebody or, you know, they're going to do something that's going to be symbolic. You know? Because, you know, yeah. uh, it's not long before the New Year is coming in. So, you know, America, we turned that into, you know, like, go outside and, you know, spend on your loved ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I, I also, it's, it's a lot of questions I could ask. Like, do you think that this uh, occurred, like, during the Thanksgiving break, possibly? I mean, I think it's kind of early to tell. Because a lot of, you know, people was basically outside all of 2021. Yeah. So, you know, people, they... I don't think they really understand the severity of what is going on out here, but I'm just sad to see that people can't be decent to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that in itself, that in its core is the problem. You know, as much as we talking about COVID and shit like that, the examples I've seen of people just, you know, again, these are these people are supposed to be your countrymen. Like the fact that you would do that, like I, I don't know if you've seen this video, but a video went viral in Italy 
where you know everybody was like in their balconies and everybody is singing the same song in the street. They're all singing the same song, like total just Italians singing a fucking song. And I think I know which one you talking. The one I was thinking, they was uh, Ashley had Shinsuke Nakamura's theme song, and they were singing that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like these are people that. No matter what, at the end of the day, they are motherfucking Italians and they're going to look out for them for each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter what's going on. If Italy is being threatened by something, they're going to band together and be part of the solution. They were one of the hardest hit during the fucking pandemic and they recovered because they did everything and then just focused on this is an Italian being, you know, beat up by COVID and I'm going to be there for them just based off the fact that these are my people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be decent to them. It don't matter if it's a stranger. I'm going to be decent. And, you know, Italy came back. You know, compare that to here, like the fact that there's even going, there's even talks about a second lockdown should let you know. Why should there be another one? (laughs) Okay. I agree. I can't. I can't. I can't agree more. We but, outside. Yeah, man. We outside. That's right. It's about me. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Okay, so another uh, question I want to ask, um, since we're talking about the end of the year, um, if you could make one statement about how this year went, what would it be? I'm going to start with Ray. We outside. <laughs> <laughs> we outside. Uh, I think that's the best. I don't know. That might be the, the it was out of that or Bing Bong. And I don't want to say Bing Bong because that's been kind of like run to death. But um. <laughs> But yeah, we outside because a lot of people when they was getting their vaccines and everybody was trying to go outside and then like people don't know how to act when they went outside. Either they was going to concerts and, you know, shit was fucking up. People was doing shit. Florida has been doing some wild ratchet shit, so I'm not even going to count most of the shit that happened in Florida. But, you know, the shit that happened everywhere where people act stupid and, you know, I remember like I had this conversation. I brought to the panel like, do you think we should be outside or you think we should have waited and all that stuff because there was people just going around doing stupid things. And one thing you can't, sometimes I realize sometimes you, you can't help everybody. Some people are just going to be stupid, but you know, you know, people, if you are a person that want to help everybody, you kind of like, look at that. It's just, uh, you like, you want them to stop, but they're not going to stop because some people are hard headed. But yeah, if I had to compare this year, uh, we outside, um, <laughs> yeah, we outside. We outside. DR. A phrase that I would use this route this year. Ill. That's it. Just ill. Father. <sighs> um. I would describe this year as inadequacy. That's how I would describe this year, complete inadequacy. I feel like as a collective, we have failed in 2021. And I I don't know, I just think, I just feel like we're going kind of like on a downward spiral. And I don't really see people that are supposed to take shit serious, like, the the effects of them not really caring is really affecting us as a people. So, Agreed. um, I just feel like it's a lot of people in this world, or I'm not even gonna say this world, but like in this particular society, I just feel like a lot of people need another reality check, and I feel like we are heading to a direction that like if shit isn't you know taken seriously it's going to collapse 
You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have a strong foundation. And this foundation was built on what? Like, you know, it was built in blood. So I think the effects of that is coming to light. Right. You know what I'm saying? With like every each passing day. So that's how I would describe this year. It's just inadequacy. Uh, D Wolf, do you want to go? Sure. Um, I don't know how to describe the year, but I'll just say how I feel on my reflection of the year. It's um, is optimistic because I see more spot. I see more uh, smiles now, and not only because there are less masks. <laughs> More people are, you know, taking them off now. So you get to actually, you know, interact without even saying a word again. Um, but yeah, I, I see justice being served. I've seen people in the circle, in the things I am into, the circles that I am in, there are nothing but smiles because they see a bright future because they've opened their mind to things that's. That's allowed them to see, you know, that, yo, we could win here despite all this bullshit because of what we know and things of that nature. Like, we, yo, this is, huh. And we, we're seeing it, like, left and right. This one's going to jail for this. This one, this thing is getting revealed. This, and, you know, now, um, what? The, the one play, the, the, okay, for instance, with CNN, they're the ones that say every time somebody brings up pedophiles, especially at their level or higher, they will say, oh, no, he's a, um, this person is a far right um, Q conspiracist. And like, since wait, just because we're speaking pe pedals here, that that's why. So now the same news organization that threw that out there is full of them, full of them. Right. If not pedals, at least um, they're molesting someone. Right. And with Don Lemon and all that, he's already in court for shit like this. So, huh. And when we see these things, we're like, you see, like, there was a time we wouldn't even know this shit. People are actually looking into it because too much fuckery is going on. And I see people fighting back. I see people um, further researching, seeing how to stop this, and they're doing it. I'm like, yo, thank you. Somebody's doing something, yo. And they're smiling. And that, that shit destroyed me when I was in Cali. That shit destroyed me while I was there. I had to leave because I could not see anyone. I could not see their smile, yo. That's the greatest gift God has given any of us, y'all. A fucking smile. That shit's universal. We know. You know, we know. And, like, I feel it. And it was, like, gone, yo. I, I, I couldn't talk to friends. I'm like, it wasn't the same. It felt. And to see it on kids, that's so fucking worst, yo. To see it on ch them on children. I'm like, yo, that's the uh, and and what were the statistics that they're less likely to fucking yo are we kidding and now i get to see them again i get to see everyone again i see every i see things going in the right direction because things are being questioned now you know there are people who are going to be devastated uh, uh you know i that was me a while ago a long time ago i had to fight through that and good things have happened since and i'm always going to stay on that train i mean i'm going to take the licks you know and feel it when it happens but i'll get out of it and i'm like you know what i'm not here for no fucking reason if i see shit going wrong i'm going to call it out i'm going to do it and if shit comes my way i'm going to fucking fight it you know that's that's it because i'm not wasting i'm not wasting this life yo i'm not and and to see other people are doing this now they they had that type of energy it makes me feel good so yeah, it makes me very optimistic. Um, my phrase for the year would be, are you serious? I feel like everything that has happened this wow. year has left you with a, a phrase, are you serious? Um, we can start with the, the riots really? at the U.S. Capitol. Um, it was really like, are you serious? Mm -hmm. Are you fucking serious? Uh, we could talk about the deaths that we've dealt with this year. Um, 
Mm. You know, D- DMX died this year. Uh, we just we we just lost Young Dolph not too long ago. Uh, Larry King died this year. Uh, I can I can name a couple people. Dustin Diamond died this year. <laughs> like like these are like it, it's it's really been uh, a long line of are you serious with okay. things uh, like mm-hmm. even 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 not the deaths even the the scenarios that we've been presented. Um, the baby, you know, being fucking blackballed for a short stint. What is that? You know, for comments that he made that he did he wasn't aware that were detrimental. You know, that was a are you serious moment. Come on. Um Little Nas X, the video he made um earlier this year, Monterio something, I think I think that's what it's called. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. come by your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That left people saying, uh, are you serious? Um who? Uh even 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 um even to 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 Lil Boosie and Lil Nas X going back and forth. You know, that left a are you serious moment. A lot of things that uh Joe Biden does, a lot of decisions he makes. Leaves you in an "Are you serious?" moment. Byron. Um, we can go down the line. It's a lot of things that th- this year has left you with a "Are you serious?" Somebody tells you something like, "That hard uh, Well, you know, such and such died. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, well, you know they're they're increasing the the they're, they're, they've increased gas. Hey. By a dollar and fifty cent, and it's like, are you fucking serious? You know, it was there was a tornado in the middle of mine Kentucky. Is, <laughs> mine is stop playing, son. Yeah, like, like that's you exactly. Can use that too. Are you serious? You can use that too. Like <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All are fucking you years. You're right. Like that's yep. this whole year has been a big. Are you serious? You can't be serious. You're fucking lying. There's a lot like mm-hmm. it's it's almost you you were forced to say these things in shock because of what we've dealt with, you know, on a daily basis you think in society it's today. It's it's a fucking movie. You know, we, we, if you think about I, I don't even want to talk about the people we lost. And, and who died? It's just the the events that that have occurred this year in any in any type of entertainment has been like, are you fucking kidding me? You know, Ray, you could speak for you could I could speak Ray, you could speak for the same subject. You know how we watch sports and we're like Kyrie, you don't want to play basketball because of what? Are you serious? Like everything is, are you serious? And I just feel like I, I can't be surprised anymore this year. <laughs> like nothing else could surprise me. Where it's like, what? It's probably gonna be hard to to top anything that's happened this year so far. It, it's been hard for us. Um, we we've made some type of stride, even in good spirits, in, in in good mindsets. We can say, "Are you serious?" They found all three of those guys guilty. You know, they found all three of those men those men guilty for killing a young black man while he was jogging in a neighborhood that he seemed to not belong in. You know, they they just found they just found. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know the lady's name, but they just found her guilty a couple days ago for killing the young black man. Um, these are are you serious moments that we can look back and reflect on and understand that there is some type of progression going on. There's some type of forward moving. It's just not as rapid and as as attentive 
as it should be to the rest of, you know, the country. And it's getting tiring. It's, it's Change is going to happen. But when change happens, it won't be us saying, are you serious? It'll be everybody else saying it. So, yeah, that's my phrase for uh, the year. And there's another subject that I uh, wanted to dissect. I'm trying to find it. I can't seem to find it. Ah, okay. So I, I'm not. I'm not sure if anybody here watches drinks champ, drinking champs, or drink champs, or whatever. So if you have uh, recently, like uh, like a couple weeks ago, Kanye West was on there. And one of the things he said that like went crazy was that uh, Big Sean was one of the worst things he ever did as far as signing him. And then Big Sean uh, responded to him on the same podcast uh, a couple weeks ago. I'm not, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't expect too many people to watch it, but um, there is speculation that Big Sean uh, is owed money by Kanye West. But I also, me personally, I feel like those kind of conversations should be disclosed between the people, the parties that are included in the situation. Um, if you guys have an opinion on it, how do you feel about it? Like, if if there was sort of an agreement, and if this podcast uh, went national, and we were all you know under contract with this podcast and. You know, one day, some way, somehow, this podcast, you know, isn't what it was in the beginning. Like, um, we somehow became syndicated to some shit. Yeah, basically. And we, we branched off to do our own thing. And then Ray, all of a sudden, does a podcast. And he says that the worst thing he ever did was have us on his show. Like, how would you feel personally about it? And would you, like, purposely attack the situation? How would you approach the situation in in that matter? Because personally, I feel like I don't I don't agree with uh, attacking certain situations in um, the limelight or in the public eye because it's perceived in a different uh, manner than what it really is behind closed doors. So I'm a person. I'm a person. I'm a person who believes in uh, privacy. Um. I feel like if I give my honest opinion about something, uh, a private manner shouldn't be brought up to try to clear or justify why my opinion isn't uh, valid. So if you were in that situation, how would you approach that exactly? And I, I mean, it doesn't really matter who starts off with this. All right, let me start by saying, as a fellow Gemini, I do not agree with what fucking Kanye said about Big Sean because, one, he's made money off of him, and Big Sean has been a success. But the fact that I... One thing I never agreed about Kanye is that the way he handles situations is which he was just blurted out to everybody instead of just handling it in the back. And then when people come at him, he kind of apologized for it. And I don't know. It makes his... I don't like when he do that because it makes it seem fake. And two faced, and you know anybody knows zodiacs. That's the one thing they say about Gemini's that Gemini's are two faced and all that other shit. I don't like that stigmatism because I don't think I backstab in as far as I'm concerned, I've never backstabbed anyone or betrayed anyone and all that other stuff. I'm more or less upfront with everything I do. As far as the, like them owing them money, um, I say this all the time because a lot of people are like, you should be more open. There are things that the whole world does not need to fucking know. All right. With the exception of if somebody in your family is like a, a rapist and or pedophile or some shit like that. Other than that, family business is staying family business. All right. Um, or, you know, money, contractual agreements should just stick to like behind closed doors. And all that other stuff. A lot of people don't really need to know that so and so owe you money and all that other stuff. And 
Um, I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know if he's gonna get it because I don't know how Kanye is with managing people's money and all that other stuff. But as far as, um, and I know you have to beg me speaking. If I had, if I was in that position, I wouldn't do that. I'm. I I hope I, you know, I say this now, and I know a lot of people. You don't know what it's like to be a future. I one thing I will hold myself accountable for is I don't want to do that same shit Kanye did because I think that shit is uh, really fake. Um, as much as I love Kanye, that, that shit is really fake as fuck is what he did. It's like, but this is why I always say you should leave polit- political shit out of like friendships and all that other stuff. I got a lot of friends that, especially in the military, that don't really like Obama and, or like Biden and all that other stuff. And some people that are Trump supporters that I honestly do rock with because, you know, personally, they're good people and all that other stuff. They just don't like, you know, you know, they just out of red or blue and all that other shit. But personal wise, they still good people. I feel like you should just keep it at that. Um, that's all I got to say. Anybody else want to tackle the subject? I would say I pretty much agree with what Ray said. I mean, sorry, it doesn't mean it doesn't like it. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what's said to you. That type of information doesn't come out. Like, it doesn't come. That's something like oh, like there's no woman here right now. So I'm like that's something a bitch will do, son. Come on, you don't do that. You don't tell oh you owe me like let the world know this. That's that's crossing the line to me. It doesn't matter like what's said, yo. Let's keep the beef what the beef is. Let's not bring up. Shit, like that's what does that have to do with you know, and at the same time, like Kanye, why though, you know? But yeah, nah, it shouldn't have gone out. Yeah, I I just feel like an agreement is an agreement. We are both adults, and if it if it's not to be settled in court, that is a conversation for me and that other party to discuss. If there aren't any uh terms agreed upon within this conversation then it will be in the public courts if it gets to that point but as far as trying to uh, sabotage a man's name even if he tried to sabotage mine because I wouldn't say that Kanye West sabotaged Big Sean's name so it, 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 it didn't put a it didn't put a gray cloud over his head so I didn't feel the I didn't feel he needed to address it in that manner. Like, how would you feel if somebody owed you such and such amount of money? Like, I just felt like that conversation wasn't... I I, I, I feel like the whole situation is messy at this point. And it kind of reminds me of the Jay-Z and Kanye West uh, feud that was going on. But it was it's it's more so in this situation, you really can't tell who's the big brother in the situation, if that makes any sense. Like with the Jay-Z and Kanye West feud that was going on, you really you you could tell in the substance of the music or how the subject was approached, who was the more humble one and who was who who was the little brother in the situation. But I feel like in this, it's hard. It's it's not even necessary to pick sides. It's about like certain principles, and I feel like they both crossed the line eventually. But father, how do you feel about it? So I personally feel like in this uh, particular situation, it was very blunt, as uh, Ray said earlier, like. Kanye can be very, very, very blunt. But I think the problem is, I don't even really think it's his bluntness. I think he doesn't really consider context in a lot of the shit he says. I feel like he just blurts out his initial reaction to whatever. And, you know, him, you know, like dealing with dealing with a lot of the things that he does, he's going to have an, a very, you know, like, not rude approach but like a very blunt one you know what i mean i don't think 
he, it intended for, I don't think he intended any harm with it. I just think that that part of his behavior has what has defined him as a person. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of see it from that angle, but at the same time, I totally understand how that could elicit some type of feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a very like heavy thing to say about somebody. You know what I'm saying? Especially somebody that's supposed to be a mentor. Like that's a very, very blunt thing to say to somebody. So the fact that that's that's public, and you know y'all have the platform that you do where everybody has a comment like we're doing right now. You know, at the end of the day, we don't know these people personally. So you know that's up to those two and God. But I just think that you know the fact that we have so much uh, influence about this with just our opinions alone, like that's gonna make the uh, not the issue, but like the the conversation even more difficult. So I feel like they're figuring out that these are two black men that are successful. So I feel like they figured that out. But the conversation just needs to be had. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. Uh Dion. Um I just kind of chalk it up to, you know, we all know Kanye is, has not been well mentally for some years. And, you know, more and more of it just shows every time he pops up. I mean, I feel like at this point we can't, we shouldn't blame Kanye West's mental state on certain things. I think he's well aware. I really just think it's his personality. Like Ray said, I think he's just a person who, or like Father said, I just think he's a guy who just says what's on his mind the first time and doesn't really uh, take in consideration of how it can be perceived or portrayed after he says it. But then he realizes that it hits, you know, it, 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 it presses certain people's buttons and he catches himself apologizing for things that he really felt. Even though, you know, you could have said it a different way. But, I mean, you said it in all honesty. That's the one thing people should respect is that Kanye West is honest. He may be yeah. too honest, but he's honest. So I just, I, I, I feel like it's certain situations men don't do even in the the even in the the line of war, whether if it's a verbal war, a uh, social war, uh, physical war, is, is there are rules that a man should never like cross. Like if we if we business partners, like past and present and future business partners, like there are certain things that shouldn't be done that I felt like was done on both ends of this um, this situation. And I just, ultimately, I just, I wish, I hope the best for them. I hope everything uh, goes well. And, you know, I, I, I fuck with Big Sean, I fuck with Kanye West, I fuck with both of them. I just feel like, I don't know, it's just who's going to be petty more. I don't want to say that Janae Aiko is in Big Sean's ear. But it kind of seems like it. So it's, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to. Uh, I can't. I just can't. If it was me, I, I'd have approached it a little different. But, you know, who am I? I'm not neither one of those guys. And, you know, it's it's a different society. It's It's a different. It's a different situation when when you're rich and, and you have you know certain you know ores or, or or however you want to put it that make you who you are. I don't know. It's just I, I just I couldn't agree with it. I just can't agree with it. I just feel like it's it's the situation is not even that big, and it could just you know it could just be you know situated. A simple conversation and agreeance, but then again, 
when you're trying to agree with Kanye West, it never works out. Hold, hold on, Q. Uh, Tony, you got something to say about this situation? Yo, Tony. Is it Tony? Yeah, here? yeah, I'm here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I seen both. Uh, of them. You I seen. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I seen both of them actually. Um, I understand what Big Sean was saying because he said like, uh, after everybody left Good Music, he was the only one dead and did seven albums that were multi platinum. And he said for years like, uh, Kanye West will call him. And tell him to write a verse for him or or do something on somebody else's album in a blink of a eye. the next day he was dead. When he said, uh, he said like um when he heard it, he was like he would laugh, but then he was hurt. He was like, I did all this for you. Uh and you was my mentor and you said that stuff. And then he said, uh, after the podcast was done, he called him and told him, Hey, let's both of us do healing. And he said he hung the phone up on him. Um Dealing with somebody with mental issues is is it's hard, but you're not a perfect person. It's not gonna be the excuse that you're gonna accept uh anything from a person because they got mental issues because you're still human. And um for him to be loyal to I mean be loyal to Kanye West and get all that stuff in him and as far as you know, the music and everything, when everybody left, when Two Chains left, and him doing all them albums and stuff, and then for somebody to state it out the blue, and then in private telling we need healing, it's still kind of wrong. That's it. Okay. I kind of agree. I just feel like the way Big Sean approached it. After you know, even even when he spoke his piece about how he used to do stuff with Kanye West, it just uh, eventually. I just felt like he was making the situation bigger than what it was. Like when he um, when he tried to say that uh, Kanye had an obsession for Drake, I, I really didn't. I could see it. In a yeah, way, I remember that. I remember that. Like I could see it in a way and how he perceived it, but the situation that he perceived was all right. The I'm blessed song. It was supposed to be it was just Drake and and uh Big Sean and then Kanye West wanted to be on it. But and he got Drake, pissed off. He got pissed off because it didn't yeah. um it didn't make it to Clarence before his album came out, so he couldn't put it yeah. on the album. And um Okay, that situation, I'm like, all right, I understand. Kanye West, uh, you know the timing. You know how things work. My album is uh, supposed to be... Um, I'm supposed to submit my album at a certain time so it could drop. And you waste it. You, you wait until you're pretty penny to, you know, try to <laughs> give your album... I mean, give your verse and for a song that was already, you know, mastered. I understand that part, but as far as like trying to make it seem like it was a Drake versus Kanye West thing, was like ah, maybe you're re- reaching him. But you remember when he said that he he helped him write his verse for the album, but he didn't he wasn't he didn't contact him or nothing before the album before the deadline of the album, and then also mm-hmm. he said that Big Sean didn't support him um, when he said he wanted to be president. He was like, I was the first person. To put that on social media, Kanye for president, he was like, "I'm confused. You have somebody that's on your corner for so long, and then also the uh, when he had got this manager and had him look at his contract, and his manager told him that he had the worst contract he ever seen, and the money was missing from all the music and all the stuff he was getting. It, it is questionable, and that's years ago." And he let that shit go, but then you have somebody else just come on right off the brat. I mean, off the off the bat, and say uh, that was the worst mistake ever. It 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 still doesn't make no sense because you still you you still human. You you're in a situation where you he he look up to you, but you shit it on him, and then you shit him on him for reasons that's unknown. Like he said. I tried to call you. I didn't have your number. I'm always here. You didn't call me for anything. 
why would you say that out in public about that not knowing the situation? Because now it making it look like him that you know that he's a, he's a bad artist, even though he got good music, but his image. He said his image is is his biggest thing. He want to let you know that you know I'm loyal. I'm loyal and I'm respectful. I'm a respectful artist. And when you say something like that, it. It, it it hurts your whole image personally. And that's when he said what I think he said. I think Big Sean was right. Cause sometimes when you don't say nothing, sometimes it hurts you. Sometimes you gotta speak up for yourself. And then you know having a bad contract and um and doing all that stuff for one person it is it, it's, it's hard. Yeah, I, I can I oh I, I, I just feel like the situation could have been better. I just feel like they both just need to have a, a sit down. You know what I'm saying? Where where is Jay Prince when we need him? <laughs> yeah, but that's also what he did with Jay Z too. So it's just like you 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 burning bridges for people that's helping you. You know what I'm saying? And and it's a trend. That's how he was doing things. He had all these guards. He had two chains. He had all these people here. And then he just went on mental. He went to a mental state. But still, you know, it, you, you still shitting on people that's helping you. It, which, it, which is still kind of wrong. Yeah, but do I, you remember? I, do you remember that Soldier Boy thing? When, yeah. uh, <laughs> this... when he took his verse off. Yeah, but when he did the little interview on the uh, on his little on on on, on social uh, on live, and he was talking about fuck Kanye West and all that shit, and they turned it to a song. It's it's crazy, man. I just hope that he get his, the mental help he needs, though, for real. I just feel like Kanye West need to be in the bubble by himself, and he should just pop out every now and then. To, to to show that he's still alive and just keep it moving. At the end of the day, <laughs> I just I feel like nobody will understand Kanye West except Kanye West. And yeah. I feel like at the end of the day, nobody should stress about knowing about Kanye West except Kanye West. And, <laughs> and then, then you uh, think about you gotta think about his divorce too. He did, and then he tried to plead back with his with Kim, and Kim just just went to. I think she went to court or something like that. Said she single or something, or dropped the uh, the West name or something like that. Yeah. All that shit is hurting you. Yeah, all that shit is hurting your feelings, man. You have Kim, you have Jay Z, then you have in people. It, it. He had never been the same since his mother passed away, and nobody not saying you' supposed to be better, but it's just a hard situation. I couldn't even imagine if my mother passed away that I would ever be the same. I just hope he get the help he need though. Man, shout out to nigga Kanye West, man. Shout out to Big Sean, because Big Sean was definitely one of the best things you've ever done as far as signing artists. Well, I can't even say one, because you had, Kanye West had a fucking lineup that, that could have beat anybody. Like, literally, you had two chains, Pusha T, and Big Sean. Yeah, and 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 you know when he did, I didn't even like when he uh produced Nas album. It was it's it's just it's just this Kanye way. It's just a mental thing, man. I just he just not he just he just not the same right now. He oh I just hope he get his help, but I ain't even listened to his last album for real. I don't know if anybody else listened to. It. I know uh I know uh Raymond did, but I, I it was I fire. Know. Ray don't like it. Yeah, I, I, I did. I heard a couple of songs. I didn't like it even. I heard like three songs. I, it played on. Uh, my wife was playing when we was driving. I was like, nah, you good. But fuck, just saying, hope he's get. <laughs> fucking Ray. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Ray. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. He know. He know how I feel. Says the guy who still hasn't watched Bad Boys for Life. Wow, he haven't watched a lot of shit. Maybe not because <laughs> Dallas, maybe not because it's Dallas Cowboys are, uh, are doing something right now. Oh, stop the bullshit! Don't even talk about the Cowboys. <laughs> winning. 
that's what we're doing. We're winning. We're last doing year, you last year said you say you was boycotting because they was losing. Now you they exactly. win. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Just hop, I just did. hop on. Did. Just hop on when they win, huh? Okay. No, no, no. I was always on the bandwagon. I was just boycotting football. Yeah, because we <laughs> I never jumped on. We don't want to watch football when the Cowboys losing. Like, who the fuck wants to do that? Y'all boring ass people. Dak, Dak was hurt. Zeke was hurt. Everybody else was. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not watching this. Mike Mike McCarthy was my coach. People was just they was just letting people score whenever, however. It was like the game was on rookie for everybody else but us. So at the end of the day, no, what you're not going to do is talk about my Cowboys. <laughs> That's not the reason Ray ain't watch shit. Ray ain't watch shit because he fall asleep on shit before he cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Ray has watched a lot of shit. He just ain't finished it. It's a difference. Bruh, hey, he was over my house looking at uh. What were you looking at in my house? What, what paper view you was looking at in my house? Who was Survivor the Royal Rumble? Series. Survivor Series? Survivor Fight Series. Asleep. Fight asleep on the first match. Fell asleep God. on the first match. I did not fall asleep on the first match. With a chicken wing in his mouth. Hey, ain't it funny that... no? Hey, I father. did not fall asleep on the first match. I fell asleep on the last match. Hey, father. <laughs> hey, father. Ain't it funny how no matter where the fuck he is, he fall asleep with chicken somewhere around him? <laughs> you don't get me started. I'm just saying. Oh, you don't shit. get me started. You At least everybody guy. knows. But see, that's so a fucking pork lo mein. A pork <laughs> lo mein. And he, he, he probably got like five, four wings in a container somewhere on the other side of the table. And you like, hey, who chicken is this? And he'll wake up out of his sleep like, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> nigga, you was just, nigga, you was just dead. We called your name twelve. We called your name twelve times, and you ain't answer one. But as soon as somebody mm. said chicken, your eyes open. Oh shit! If that ain't a nigga for you, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, chicken is good. But you, uh, it's, it's, oh, it's, you need a bad chicken. chicken for you. Oh shit. We, in the word, in the words of Tube Steak, we niggas, nigga. <laughs> we niggas, <laughs> nigga. So I, be, I believe Ray has watched every movie ever created. I just don't feel like he has watched. <laughs> he's never made it to the end. Yeah, he's, he's never made it to the end of a movie. Uh, no, uh, there's something yeah. I, I've made to the end of. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I fall asleep on Love Jones all the fucking time. I don't know why I can't finish that shit. Because it's boring and it's slow and it takes forever to get to what the fuck we want to see. Bill Bellamy? Yes. Being an asshole? That's it. <laughs> That's probably the reason why Dion doesn't like love and basketball. <laughs> just everything about that movie is just... Uh... It's not. It's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> you make it that bad. You like aristocrats. I will never let you live off that one. Hey, do we're, not you this, know, we're not talking Disney movies right now, nigga. Hey, but shout out to you, Dion. Do you know I got cussed out by like five people when I said I didn't like Aladdin? You didn't like. I don't Aladdin. need to. I don't. I don't need to say anything, man. Like, I don't like Aladdin. <laughs> like Aladdin. I did not like Aladdin. My only question to you is, what was so bad about Aladdin? <laughs> it, it, it just, it, it, it didn't. It was, it wasn't the greatest movie to me. It wasn't. It wasn't. It's not as great as people perceive it to be. That's Disney fair. movie. That's fair. I Which feel like one? It, the first one. I feel like the cartoon like, one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I feel like. Wow. That, uh, I feel like in all aspects, <laughs> the only wow. reason I feel like in all aspects. That's why and you're a Dallas fan. You're a Dallas fan, too, right? Don't blame it on the Cowboys. Wow, that's 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 a double jeopardy right there. Wow. No, oh, it's shit. not because a Cowboy fan cussed me out about Aladdin. So let's get that out the way. Ah, uh, yo, this sport. Uh, <laughs> damn. You know what? You know what? Shut up, Father. my Cowboy. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Father, just because you can't fit shoulder pads don't mean you got to hate on football. I don't want to fit shoulder pads. <laughs> that shit bulky. 
<laughs> but regardless, I just feel like I feel like the aura that Aladdin has around it is only because it's a a classic movie in our childhood. It's not because it was a great Disney movie. It was a good Disney movie, wasn't a great one. Uh. Hey, call me what you want, man. I'm comparing it to great fucking movies like fucking Toy Story and, and, and Lion King and Emperor's New Groove and fucking like over the top movies, Jungle Book, Tarzan. Like, I mean, Aladdin Disney was over classic. the top as fuck. These are Disney, these are Disney greats. So it's it's kind of hard. I like I just in in my opinion, I just feel like Aladdin is just not that is not that god tier movie that everybody like, thinks it is. Go ahead, okay. be my ass for it. So what you did like the what you did like the rug or something? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I liked the rug. I liked the monkey, and I liked the genie. Are you happy now? <laughs> I'm. I'm sorry. I, I like. So was it Aladdin himself that was the problem, or? Oh my God! Are we having an intervention on why I don't like Aladdin? All right. Please. I'm just asking a simple question. Right. Okay. Cool. No, right. no. Okay. We get, We can do that. We can do that some other. We can do that some other time. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Because there's I, other I, things we can have like a full on intervention about or whatever. If you really want to go there, I'm just asking a simple fucking question. Like I'm saying we're doing, and we're starting in the intervention and start with Dion and his wrestling opinions. That's absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, fucking lose. It gotta really? stop. It gotta stop. <laughs> it gotta stop. You are like, you are like, oh my god. I'll still never fucking forget the time you said you don't watch AEW because of that uh, uh, orange uh, Cassidy match. That actually pissed me off. <laughs> Dion is Michael Cole off of SmackDown. You are Michael bringing. Cole. You are fucking Michael Cole. He's Michael wait. Cole off a of, off of SmackDown Just Bring It. Like, you, you know, just say the most wait, unnecessary wait. shit in the world. Sometimes the I just hear, it's boss time in my head every time you say something dumb about us. <laughs> 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 hey, Dion, what's your, favorite, what's your favorite wrestling game of all time? Shit. Lord Jesus, please, best, please, Jesus. Please. I want to hear my my favorite my favorite wrestling game. Gotta be. I gotta go with No Mercy from the Nintendo sixty four. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was just wondering. And that, Ain't it fucked and up that, that we all and that's so only fancy. because of our eye and and that's and that's because of like just the variety of wrestlers you had. There are two. There were only two. There were only two wrestling games I would allow you to say. No mercy, and here comes the pain. It's the only two ones I would have been like, all right. How you how you feel about SmackDown versus Raw 2011? Because a lot of people say that's the best wrestling game ever. It was actually great. I just think Here Comes the Pain is a little bit better. I I didn't play that. I didn't play that one, so I yeah. can't really like what 2011. Yeah, I didn't that's play that good. one. No, that's that's a good one. It was great. It's great. Don't say good. It was great. That was almost the peak of wrestling games. I'll be honest, I'm not good at that one, but I can't appreciate it for what it is. It's, it's a great game. It is. I, I just, I personally have a love for Here Comes the Pain because it was just, it was just the dramatics of doing your fucking your finisher move. It's just like, yeah, that's the shit. Who's getting in or out of a car? That's Tony. But in all reality, okay, since we talk about video games, let's talk about what was the video game of the year in your opinion. Damn. I didn't really care much for video games this year. I'm not even going to front. Everything I played is like old. Did the, did the Spider-Man game come out this year? No. The Miles Morales? Yeah. I think that came out earlier this year, but uh, 
But yeah, everything I like, you know me, I'm a fighting game player. I still play Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5. And I, only, I think the only thing I played that, that was this year is like 2K. And I'm not going to put that as game of the year. Of course, we won't. I don't, well, I don't care for sports. Way, I, I don't care for basketball. By, by the way, I appreciate, <laughs> I, I appreciate, I appreciate you, Q, for hey, letting me play for you. Bro, we brothers, man. If I got it, you All got right. it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I personally like Deathloop. Deathloop was a great game. Uh, Deathloop, look, it, it looked fun. Oh, yeah, Deathloop. I still play Apex. Apex is a 3 old game. Yeah, yeah, a lot of games I play, it's like old okay. <laughs> There's actually uh, there's actually a fucking a fucking um of uh a, a a new next gen experience with Matrix. I know what you're yeah talking yeah about. yeah touched on that last week. It looked good. It, it, it looks good. it looks great. It looks the real as fuck. It looks real as fuck. I want. Uh, I, I so, just want to play Jada Pinkett so I can get into entanglements. So, uh, oh my god! About, no, the great but, uh, thing about Unreal though is that it's like really pushing its graphical capabilities now. The new demo reel they just showed <clears throat> us, my god, mm-hmm. beautiful, mm. crazy. The one game that shit was crazy. Like, have y'all like have y'all actually like? Because I had I have a five, so I actually seen it like in person. You can see the reflection of a building on a car window. Mm-hmm. If that's not real, I don't know what the fuck is. I watched my brother play Miles Morales on the PS5, and it, it looked really beautiful, especially at 60 frames per second. Absolutely. It's like, like, it looked really good. Is yeah, the I Matrix mean, game it's... better? Is the Matrix game is still like the movie, or is it better? No, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't necessarily a game. It was really a, just a trial to show you the uh, the uh, the new mechanics. And um, all you really did, you did a couple missions, and you really just drove around, ran around, jumped around, and it just really showed you the realistic uh, mechanics and and how the the new the new next gen, the new gen, whatever it's called how real it looks like I, I believe this is the reason why a new uh grand theft auto won't it w- will take a couple more years to even be developed right so yeah i'm not yo really... i just thought of something imagine imagine with the headset though the uh vr set with the game I'm like that i'm scared i'm <laughs> trying to play Shit. sims in vr like an mmo Stop it. Uh, Yo, we get we getting closer and closer to um damn it. What was that show? God know what I'm talking about. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The show from Netflix, right? Yeah. The I shit with Anthony show. Mackie. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Huh. We getting closer and closer to that. <laughs> I just want to I fucking hate you, Ray. You know it. I know it. It's getting there. You know. <laughs> you what Facebook's doing? Meta. Mm. I was about to say <laughs> Facebook Meta. Yeah, it's it's getting bad. Justin yeah. Bieber. Imagine did, inter- Justin Bieber just did a concert. Let me fu- Yo, it's over. Life is over. <laughs> we about to turn it. We about to turn it to Ready Player One real quick. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm gonna enjoy mm-hmm. it. If we do, if we doing Ready Player One, only person I want to be is Crash Bandicoot. I'm I'm waiting for the movie for the sequel to come out because I got both the books. You could you could technically do that if you got a VR headset. There's a place where you know people go up as mods already. Right. Oh, that's, uh, would would I want to be Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> I don't think so. He doesn't. Say Crash Bandicoot words. goes through a lot. He doesn't say anything. Yeah, and also he kind of goes through a lot. Kanye West should learn from him. (laughs) (laughs) 
out of the few games that get released this year, the best thing that I personally have played out of everything to get released this year is Metroid Dread. I can't think of everything that came out this year. Far Cry came out. That game looks pretty good. Black uh, Mirror. That's what the fuck it was. It was Black Mirror. <clears throat> this shit. The joint with um, Anthony Mackie. He was in that fighting game, Black Mirror. That's oh, what. yeah. Hell, yeah. Yeah, shit about to get. I'm, I'm getting tired of society already. It all started with the Wii. <laughs> Shit. I think it was called Striking Vipers or something like that. Yeah. It, it all started with the Wii. Fuck the Wii. The Wii has ruined our lives. <laughs> I mean, I I think we all knew it was going to eventually get to this point where people are, <laughs> are you know, they want to be in the game and all that other stuff, so... I can already see, you, you know, you can already see that happen the way it's coming. So, I'm not surprised. Shit, the Wii was a game changer. I mean, Didn't that remember. movie Game come out around the same time? Say it again, D-Wolf. That movie Gamer with, um, uh, that movie Gamer with, uh, Gerard Butler. That came out around the same time. That when was. The Wii and the Connect and the one PlayStation has. No, they did that, that was, <laughs> that was 2000 and, like, what, 13 or 14? Yeah, when did the week, the, yeah, when the week came out and the connect for the Xbox, so was, everything was like, it read your body. Oh, yeah, that was like, It wasn't the same time as, um. That was, the, the, that was before that, that movie. How long before? The week yeah. came out in like late 2008, 2008. I know the week was out before I went into the Navy. <laughs> Yeah, the Wii, Wii dropped when I was. I know the Wii, Wii dropped while I was still with the Marines and shit. So that we had to have been like 07, 08 when that got released. Mm, when did the Connect come out? And I forgot the one for the PlayStation. PlayStation I. <laughs> yeah, and the Connect. Because hmm. around that time. I don't think it was that many years about um apart. But yeah. Okay, the Wii was originally um released in 2006. Yeah, oh. I thought so. The the hmm. Connect was November 4th, 2010. It was uh, always let, let, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because the switch was kicking everyone's asses in sales. No, I actually think PlayStation uh, had the... No, I think Xbox had it first. I don't even keep up with that shit anymore, honestly. Yeah, the Kinect came before it. Yeah, fuck the Kinect. I mainly use it for the uh, voice commands. <laughs> you know, the marvels of convenience. <laughs> Fuck Xbox. Mm-hmm. Right? Nah, I can't say some fuck chicken Xbox. wings, yo. <laughs> I cannot say fuck Xbox. I'm like, I ain't touching a remote, so I came in handy. Why can't you say fuck Xbox? Because Xbox Game Pass is, has been good to me so far. Yes! So yes! 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 <laughs> Who's celebrating the hey. The hey, yeah. look, I can't... I can't Hey, I can't front on the Game Pass. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, nah, hey, hey, Game Pass. Hey, who the hell is celebrating over there? Hey, if you, hey, if you play on PC, man, so I can't lie. Uh, I cannot lie. I cannot lie. The X- the I, bet, thing, I said that last time. About the, the one, Game the Pass. one, the one thing I cannot disagree with is the Xbox Game Pass. My God, do they have Fight Night Champion? You are winning. Nah, they that shit is good. That shit they got Fight Night really Champion. Good. There's nothing else you can say. They have Fight Night. Nothing Man, else. Bro. No other console has. Yo, let me tell you something. When I found out that fucking cloud gaming uh library, bro, it was <laughs> and I'm playing the game right there. 
I was fucking playing Marvel Avengers. You can ask Ray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I, I, I showed him that. I showed Raymond all this stuff on the Xbox Game Pass when he was over at my house too, trying to convert him to go over from PlayStation to Xbox. Nah, he you say don't he don't try to let that shit go. Don't get that. me wrong. I'm not even, talking even, about. He even played a new Halo jump. And he was like, yeah, uh, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not really interested in any of the consoles or anything like that, but because I have Windows 10 on my uh, laptop, I'm, I have access to it like immediately. So I thought that, like, thank God they fucking uploaded all that shit to work on the PC. We winning right now. That's the greatest thing Xbox did was pan it to us. And I like Outer Worlds. Mm-hmm. Outer Worlds is probably like the best thing I played on Xbox in like a while. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Microsoft. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Nah, they Microsoft still need games. They right, still so need everybody, games. So everybody just throw away their PlayStation to get Xboxes. Yay! And, 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 like nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I like my, I like my right fighting games. I like my fighting games. The only game. thing, the only thing Xbox got that I will ever remotely care for is Gears of War. Try again, and that's on PC, so I don't need an Xbox. Try again, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I'm good on Microsoft. Yeah, I told you the only thing, the only thing I'm wasting my time with on fucking uh, Xbox is because they got Fight Night Champion. But you know I, what? I do have the Xbox One controller, and it is doing me pretty well. I will say that. I'm not. Ever yo, gonna play I'm not gonna lie. It, I actually like the Xbox One controller better than the PS5 controller when it comes to fighting games. Nah, yeah, when I it don't com- think I can agree with that. No, nah, I can't. I can't agree with that. When it comes, that PS5 controller is different. No, no, I couldn't throw a. I couldn't throw a simple Hadouken with the PS5 controller. So here's the thing about the <laughs> controller, real quick. Nah, the thing about the D-pad is that it's very fucking tiny. It's a tiny ass D-pad, so the buttons are like super close together. So you can't roll your fingers. You gotta like finesse it. I don't know. I figured it out. Look, that's we was at we was at blur we was we was at BlurCon and I was playing some of my father's uh peoples and all that other stuff and like when it came to the Xbox One controller I was doing fine but when it came to that PS5 I was like I'm not liking this <laughs> I'm not liking it at all so I don't know and I'm like usually and I'm usually with Sony with the fighting when it comes to fighting games and controllers I would say Sony all the way but this time I was like nah I can't. <laughs> I don't know. I like I like the five controller. I think I'm pretty sure for like shooting games or like adventure games, that thing is cool. But fighting games, I don't know. I can't get with it. I can't get. With it. Yeah, you might. I, I don't know. I don't. I, don't I but me games. personally, I for fighting games, I still like the PS3 controller. But that's just me. As a pad player, for as a pad games? player. Yeah, for fighting games, fighting games only as a pad player. Okay, I could, I could, I could understand where you're coming from. I'm not going to agree with it, but I could understand it. <laughs> that's I fine. Could, I, I said yeah. the second is actually like the Wii Controller Pro. That's actually a good for fighting games. That's actually a good pad. Nah. Oh. But, uh, I think. This come, I think this is the time. You know, you know what? I'm gonna open the floor to anybody who has any uh, other topics they want to bring up before we get to final thoughts. Nah, let's go to the final thoughts. Okay, let's go to the final thoughts. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump to the final thoughts. And I'm gonna start with Tony since you are the last person to join. Uh, I would say the fall of WWE. <laughs> that's it. Yes, that's yes. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just the fall of WWE. That's it. <laughs> Whatever y'all think about it, the fall of WWE. Look, I'm just waiting for Vince McMahon and Triple H to run their fades. That's Triple H got to run their fades. That's all I'm asking for. That's my Christmas gift. Triple H to run the fade with Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got your money on? Triple H. Of course you did. Especially yeah, I, coming out of heart surgery. 
That's why he was dead for his heart, because he broke his heart when they let him go. <laughs> no bullshit. Uh, uh, Tony, since that's your last, since that's your final thought, I'm gonna go ahead and swing the microphone to D Wolf. All right, mine's quick. Uh, it's something I heard the other day, I found it interesting. Uh, the difference between medicine and poison is the dosage, mm. and that's my final thoughts. Mm. Fire, nigga. I'm using that as a bar. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Shit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hand this off to Father. I'm going to follow up with another quote and say that the, desi- the desire to remain as you are is what will ultimately limit you. And that is my final thought. Appreciate that wise one. I'm gonna go ahead and swing it to Ray. Okay, I, I have three things and I'm gonna keep it very short. One, my top ten uh, review, uh, top ten albums of 2021. I'm working on it right now. Ten and nine are already on my YouTube. Tomorrow, I'm going to put them on Instagram. That's the one thing. Uh, two, I don't know if y'all seen the shit with Kamala Harris and fucking Charlemagne. The only thing that came to my fucking first off, the only thing that came to my mind is where the fuck is Kamala Harris been? I have not seen you all year, and you (laughs) pop up. I ain't seen her in the. I ain't seen you all year long, and you pop up getting to getting it in. Oh shit! Uh uh uh, Kamala. Oh damn. Got them off. Go on. Um, as soon as you said ball. something about motherfuckers, oh, like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> hey, the government heard that shit. Real <laughs> fast. She said mm-hmm. you and Sean. Where, 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 where's Crystal when you need her to fuck? <laughs> to blame the government. It's the government <laughs> fault. Don't worry, Crystal. We ain't lost a step. I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there. Since you ain't here to say it. But let's blame the government for cutting Holy off this shit. wise man. Because we have not seen Kamala Harris since she was elected as vice president. Is he back yet? Surprised she wasn't cackling. <laughs> hey, shout out. Hey, Charlemagne the God is an asshole. I'm not even going to Just talk about Kamala Harris. Ain't new. That ain't new. <laughs> This this one I get for talking about Kabbalah Harris. Hey, Kabbalah. we said it. Blame the government. It ain't, bro. <laughs> Shot your shit down real fast. Oh shit! I'm sorry, Kabbalah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. That's, that's one thing I can say. I was about to say. I said, yo, I was literally about to say this is the blackest I've ever seen Kabbalah Harris act in in my life. Ever since I seen her. Yeah, uh, she, and. Uh, she did her thing. She said, fuck you. Come on, say, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> just cut me. <laughs> okay. And the, uh, all right, and the third and, and the final one. I don't know if y'all, I sent it. I know I sent this to Q. I haven't sent this to D Wolf. I don't know if D Wolf wants to see this, but um, there was a video I saw of uh, this girl. She was rapping, and I guess this place called Shit Show, and she was like in some uh, green lingerie. And oh she was trying God. to shake that her ass. Was, Ray, that shit was fucking horrible. I don't know why you sent that shit to me. What happened? <laughs> DR. Okay, this girl. This, this, uh, you going to have a lot to say. Okay. I'm going to just say, I'm going to just say this. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to body shame it because I'm not even going to get to that part. But um, this is why. Her being on that stage, period, the way she was dressed and all that other stuff, and them shitty ass rap over and her falling and busting her ass. This is why I, I say uh, females don't have no real friends because there is no way Fact. your friends would let you go on that stage <laughs> and act a fucking fool like that I and look a damn you. fool. I need to see this. I need to see this. Just purely out of curiosity. I need to see this. Out of curiosity, I bet you would. All right, I'll, I'll send it to you, Dion. I'm sending it to you. I, I found it. I found <laughs> yes, it. indeed. Yes, indeed. Send it to me too. All right, I got y'all. I got y'all. Send it my Holy way too. Shit. All right.
is that this the is, final thought? To me, this is, a, this, is a, this is the epitome of you have no real friends because any true friend will tell you they don't do that. You look dumb as fuck. Just get off that fucking stage. Or if your rhymes are shitty, they'll tell you, um, stop rapping, you know, and, you know, don't quit your day job and all that stuff. I understand we live live in a world where people be like, you should do what you want, and, you know, without the consequences. And I tell people, that is bullshit. There are consequences for everything you fucking do. Or to everything you fucking... Like, if you was a true friend, and this is why I always say men, male friends are better than female friends be, uh, when, it, when it comes to situations like this, because male friends don't let you look stupid unless they're trying to teach you a lesson. And usually then, they tell you three times, don't put that, don't do that dumb shit, or don't wear that dumb shit, you know, before then. It's like, I, I understand, like, me growing up, I'm a knucklehead, but at least I had people around me tell me, don't do that dumb shit. Hey, stop. Or, you know, don't do that. Usually, when I see dumb shit like this, it usually comes from, it usually comes from women. Not all women. Because I know there are some women say, don't do that shit. And I know there's a couple times where a woman has stopped me from doing dumb shit. So not all women, but at the same time, I don't see people when they say this. You see shit like this, and you go, "She's living her life, let her do, do what she wants, and all that other stuff." I keep telling people sometimes you got to tell people to don't do that because if you if you come up there looking like a damn fool like that, I'm gonna just act like I don't know you. So the, someone yeah. need to help that woman. I'm pretty. Pretty sure y'all just watching it right now and laughing, but someone needed to help that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh out loud. And then you go. I got to the point where she tripped it. <laughs> she looked at, they stopped the music and asked her if she was chick. She looked like she probably had a fucking concussion. She tried to keep going. Knowing damn well you cannot walk in them fucking hills because oh she was having trouble in them fucking hills. No. No. Ba- baby baby girl. Where do we start? Oh my no. And that is my final thoughts. Back to you, Q. <laughs> no. But if y'all want to say something about it, go ahead. But that's I'm a, that, no, that I'm gonna I'm leave it alone. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it for the group chat after we hey, get off. Hey, We've you already been here a while. You wanna know something no. crazy? You wanna know something crazy? What, what up? It's your time for your final thought, and I'm actually curious about what you got to say about this. No, no, I'm gonna I'm say it for the group chat. I'm gonna say it for the group chat. I'm gonna leave it alone. Well, I'm not in the group chat. To... <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, if if you insist, be nice. Now, now, Q, you know damn well. Be nice, if. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, where to begin? First of all, just you had no business doing this. What? Oh man, because cause I'm I'm looking back at the video again just to try to like. I can't just she had no business go even going up there. I'm not even I'm not even gonna say nothing about like her body, nothing like that. She ain't she it she's not horrible, just you know I've seen better, but I've seen way better, but I've also seen worse. So I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, body shit her and, and all of that. But just, oh man, know your limits, know your limits, please. And, I, and that's all I'm gonna say I, in regards to that video. Know your fucking limits. But what I was originally going to say before that, so I recently, I'm not even gonna say got into a debate, but you know, just kind of stumble into something like an argument. Because um, I guess someone was talking about, you know, dating has become difficult because someone is putting it in us men's heads that we are the prize. And my response to that is this. 
women are not the prize in this. And for that matter, neither neither are we. Because if that were the case, then, you know, there wouldn't be so many, you know, homosexual couples out here happy as fuck doing their thing. If men were the prize or women were the prize, whatever, whatever. So, you know, scratch that argument just off of the strength of that alone. And secondly, see, you win prizes in games. So if you approach dating like you're playing a game, you're in some type of competition or whatever, you're bound to get nowhere. The prize is just finding someone who actually loves and cares about your dumbass. And that's all I got to say about that. Okay, I think. Breaking news, Nas just dropped the album. What? Nas just dropped the album. Like dropped it at midnight? Like dropped it at midnight? Like people have been doing lately? Yes. Just, what's it called? Magic. And it's him and Hit Boy again. So you know it's going to be good. It's good. All right. Yeah. Damn, nah, I got a motherfucking nowhere. Yeah, I sure did. Right yep, sure did. Magic is out. Shout out to my man Nas. I ain't know the nigga was working on that album. <laughs> One of the greatest of all time. Um, my final thought is very simple. Uh, love your family. Love everybody around you. Um, tomorrow's not promised. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of families that's not going to be able to indulge with each other as far as Christmas. But the best thing for us to do is to make the best out of everything that's going on. Um, there are a lot of people we've lost in the last year uh, that aren't weren't able to see a Christmas. Kids, adults, you know, everybody. Um, I think we should just take these last couple of days or last two weeks to reflect on everything that we've dealt with in the last year so that when the new year comes, we have a better approach and a better backup uh, plan just in case things fall uh, out of reach in some sorts. And, uh, you know, stay positive. Enjoy the life that you have because it's not promised. There's no telling. Uh, don't allow society to change your your views on life. Don't allow society to create an image that you don't necessarily agree with. And yeah, that's my final thought. On that note, uh, I would like to thank everybody in this panel for talking. I would like for thank I would like to thank everybody who's listening for listening to us talk our bullshit. This is another episode of Let Me Just Say Podcast. I am your host, Q, and we are signing out. Peace. Deuces. Cheers. Good on you, Mike.